I see Ron's not biting your style today. No hoodie. That's what's up. Yeah, Wait, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Let me go oh, grab my hoodie. I meant to do that. I knew I was forgetting something today. Hey, chill. This is uh, this is Riley. Who's this? This is Riley. What's up, Riles? I used to have a sable Burmese when I lived in the Bay Area. I had two of them actually. This is this is Andre. He's the biggest one. What's up, Dre? There's, there's Big Boy, and then there's the Chadwick, the dog y'all met. Uh, you seen Chad? We met Chadwick already. How old is Chadwick? Man, Chad about to be crazy. Chad about to be four uh, yeah. in May. He's a he's a rescue. He uh, you know, he had a, a lady that owned him, but you know, kind of course, has got a lot of uh, that's better. A lot of stuff you got to get get out of him, you know. And right. uh, Ox, Ox, you own big dog too. Have you ever owned a big dog before? Yeah, I used to have Rottweilers. Rottweilers. Uh, yeah, I love I love Rottweilers, man. They just be having them uh, them hip issues. This yeah. dude right here, yo, get Ron, get Ron <laughs> off the floor, big guy. Look. Look, it was the, the first thing I could find. <laughs> get Ron off the floor, okay? Ah, <laughs> look, get Ron on the floor. He killed us. He okay, killed bro, us. You gotta, you gotta come sit. You gotta come. You gotta come sit there. You on the bench, bro? Come sit. Come sit next to me, bro. And <laughs> big ox, you the coach. You the coach that's snatching my shirt to get him out the game. Like, get yeah, Ron yeah. out. The Go game. get him right get, now. Get Ron. <laughs> <off the floor. laughs> Chill, but if I'm rebounding and playing defense, like, but you're not. That's the problem, Ron. You're not. That's the problem right there. You're not. Get Ron off the floor, big guy. You All lost right, on man. defense, bad rotations. Get missing open in shots, but come on. You're not running the floor. No, he ain't doing nothing, man. Absolutely nothing. So mm. Mars, I saw the uh I saw the matchups for um for the UEFA. Is it UEFA? For the for the, mm -hmm. for the playoffs. Yes, yes. And um I don't like that PSG matchup. I don't. I don't particularly like that. I'm not sure if I uh, if I love that. And I don't know that much about soccer, but I know a little bit about PSG, and I don't love that match. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I'm just upset. I'm gonna be honest. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just upset. So what's it, what, what's your problem? What's going on, Mars? Real quick. They they put us against like maybe the best team in the competition. I don't... Last time we played Bayern Munich in the Champions League knockout rounds, we lost ten two. Damn. So you so, basically got Denver in the first round of the playoffs. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, so that's not great. How that's you let somebody score though. 10 points on you in soccer? Well, across two games. So if it was 5-1 in each oh, game. Oh, okay, okay. That makes it so much better. Yeah, that makes it so much better. Yeah. It's, it's, been, anyway. it's been a bad time, man. It's been a bad time. All right, y'all. Before we get into it, remember yesterday I told y'all we had a guest. And here go my man right here. What's going on, brother? Hello. You good? You good? You can hear us? Hello. Oh, I don't think you can hear us. He told me to lock in. He told he told me to lock in this episode. Oh, yeah. That specifically when hello, he gets hello. on here. Yeah, we can what's hear up, you. You hot? We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I don't think he can hear us. We can hear you. He can't hear us, though, chill. We yeah, gotta we gotta plug his audio. Oh, Ron, man. Oh, Ron. This is Ron's. Fault. Hey, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and forewarn y'all. That's my dude. He's a very good dude. Very good brother. We have <laughs> the exact opposite basketball takes. The, we are a complete opposite. That's what makes, that's good, what makes, good. I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it dope, right? And Big Eyes, would, would you tell me about some of your best friends, what you had to do before you became best uh, friends? Yeah, we we got to knuckle up first sometimes. That's, that's just what like happens that. when you best friends, right? <laughs> Me and my best friend. That's how we became best friends. Hey, real, yeah, a real spit. Hey, real, real spit for you. Come on, shout out to black content creators, man. Black content creators will. They, oh, they God. are the, they are the ace in the hole in this, uh, in this industry that will help you, uh, you know, that help you tap in where you need to tap in. So man, I'm telling you, if you got this, that's a good dude. That's a good dude. Low, good, low, good brother. There's a bunch of y'all, man. Y'all good people. I mean, I'm still figuring out Ox, but you know, I feel like he's gonna get there one day. <laughs> but you got oh, bigger, God. bigger fish to fry this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do man it's hard to just keep coming up with it's like an artist like a like a singer like a rapper like to keep coming up with rhymes and keep coming up with songs it's not easy to do it's wait chill if this is destiny child which one are you <laughs> i don't i think destiny's child is a bad example i think if if there, there was five of them at the beginning, yeah, it was. It was five of them <laughs> they rotated but you know i'm what you call it i'm uh i'm what's her name um Kelly. Chick who be, no, Kelly? I'm not Kelly. What's the what's the other one who be uh what the hell is her name? Not Michelle. Michelle. Be dancing not, off beat. Nope, not not Kelly. The one not from Michelle, uh, not the Beyonce. one from uh, Green. What's it? What's what's the show? That's that her. Pastor, 
a green that's leaf, her. From green leaf. Like I ain't even know that she could sing. I ain't no, know she yeah, could dance. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know anything about her until she went solo. I was like, damn, I didn't even know this chick mm-hmm. could sing. That's me. That's the one. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm what, if who was the Temptations though? Who would you be? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I'm Paul. I'm not. I'm not David Ruffin because I'm. I'm not. I'm not causing no friction within the group. I, I, I want the group. Way David to left. If we if we NWA, I'm definitely Ice Cube. I'm definitely Q. Definitely, yeah, I'm Ron, 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 you yellow. Ron, you you yellow. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. <laughs> that's wild. And who are you? I'm Easy E for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we Please know who Easy is. You couldn't even. You couldn't even. You couldn't even. You couldn't even give me boys in the hood bar for bar right now, Ox. You couldn't even give me boys in the hood bar for bar right now. Bar for bar. Woke up quick at about noon. Just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. You gonna pick the easiest one? Let's go. And, 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 by the way, a, and by the way, I'm you a West Coast dude, by the way, on, on top of that. You a West Coast dude. Yeah, be that, be that as it may. Be that as it may. I don't know all, all NWA songs. I, you know, I know, mm, I know the, nope, I know the nope, ones. Nope, you know what I'm saying? I know nope, the ones. No, nope. Eight ball. Put eight ball on, y'all. I'm, that, I'll tell you, bro. Tap into the bag. We can I'm do saying, old know, school we, hip-hop we can, one. I'm all in it. Okay, but you know, I'm, oh, from, oh. I'm, from, I'm, from, I'm from up here, though. So we could we could do Sebo. We could do E-40. You know what I'm saying? Mac Dre. You know. Okay, tell me when that go. First, first, first of all, first of all can, can, can we get to the can we get to the bottom of that? Yo, we got company. Can we act like we have some sense? We got company. All right, how about that? We got we, we got somebody new in the house. We got some company. So can we act like we got some sense? What's up, brother? Yeah, y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah you hot. Yeah, you hot. Yeah, what's up, mm-hmm. OJ? How you doing? Long yeah. time. Long now you hot. Hey, you you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the people and let them know who you are, where you're from, what you do, and who you came up here to cook today. <laughs> Definitely swiper. <laughs> Definitely swiper. <laughs> no, uh, get, get it, get it up and ready. No, my head, my head ready. Head, you know, born St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised, man. Been in the okay. sports industry about almost a decade. You know, doing a lot of different things. Worked for the NBA. Was a talent for Slam uh, for two years. So, doing a lot of stuff. So you understand, swiper, why him being from St. Louis, he got issues with you because he had Jason Tatum do. Of That's course, I know he had Jason Tatum. Yeah, yeah, Jason Tatum is his man. Just oh, like so this show, this show's favorite person. Okay. Yeah, this is my man, right? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're JT guy, just like me. Are, so, yeah, are you the best small four in the league right now? Oh my goodness, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I yes. get, I get jumped when I say that. When I, I guess, say that, hey, I get. I guess, wait, I guess, I guess the blip happened, and Kevin Durant and LeBron James oh, are out of the league. The blip it's happened. It's a blip. It's a blip. Thanos is here. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it happened still, y'all. Which is also interesting too, because I'm sure if Kevin Durant would have went off yesterday, I would have basically got jumped from behind. By the way, it wouldn't have been like you know, I would have been punches from the back of the head and getting snuck. But he, he kind of got scorched yesterday. So chilling him out. We'll go ahead and let y'all get y'all licks off because JT JT's team did win. Even though you know what, I'm gonna leave the caveat out. His team did win yesterday. So how you feeling about that win yesterday over the Suns? I mean, I feel good. I mean, I think the Boston Celtics are the most probably the talented team in the NBA, definitely the best team in the Eastern Conference. I feel like Jason Tatum is arguably, like I said, the best small four in the league, three-level scorer, can do a variety of things, also defends at a high level. So I, I feel like the Boston Celtics are they're pretty tough. And Jalen Brown is coming on at the right time as well. So we'll see what happens. And the Celtics got that kind of team where they're so complete when they got their main thing going, everything mm-hmm. else just follows. And when everything mm-hmm. else just follows, they're pretty difficult to beat. So when you got Jason Tatum having open shots and knocking them down, when you got Jalen Brown, who's been really good in transition. That was with no KP last night too, by the way. I want to make sure. Who I, needs I, KP? I you got Al Horford. Point. Yeah. The Suns have been, who's, they've been obliterated by Celtics with no KP in the, in the two games. Mm-hmm. Right. That's so, cool. with, but with that being said, there is a, a bit of an issue that I saw last night and I don't like what I saw on the backboard from the, from the Boston Celtics because yeah. Nurkic was basically just having his way with Al Hoffitt. I don't like yeah. that, and I'm not sure that the good Watch thing the is that I'm though, chill. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I, I think in the East they're they're not going to run into anybody that's like that in terms of a rebounder that that's that ferocious as Nurkic is. So I think they're good on that front. But you know, when they have to deal with whoever they have to deal with in the West, it's going to be pretty difficult. But last night was a last night was evidence of when they got it rolling, how much better they are than everybody else. For sure. Yeah. All right, y'all. Right just, from the top. Yeah. Hey, Ahmad, you you got your all time top ten ready? 
No, I don't really have an all-time top ten. I mean, Swipe would probably tell you. I, I view the game a little differently than, like, a lot of people. I don't just view the game based on, like, accolades and stuff like that. I do accolades, skill set, and talent as well. And then you combine it together. That's the best way to to look at the game of basketball. If you're just basing things on accolades, then, okay, Bill Russell. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I never really talk about, like, top ten all-time list because every time I say and speak my, like, personal favorites, I get attacked because of the way I view the game. So a lot of that contributes to me playing basketball, played in college and stuff like that. So I have a deeper, like, understanding than most people may have because I just had that experience playing on the basketball court. But it's it's complicated when you talk about top 10 all the time. So can we get your top 10? And it don't got to be right now. Let, later on in the show, you could think on it. Your top 10, I guess you could say hoopers, hoopers. Okay. Because we, we all got those hoopers where it's like, okay, it's players that's better than you, but – as a hooper, we have no choice but to love you. But even but even though that's crazy because, like, it's going to get nasty because I give a lot of credit to guys that can do everything with the basketball themselves. So I don't have a lot of big men on my list if you can't really create your own shot. Just ballers. So, just ballers yeah. Straight ballers. Yeah. Um, okay. Ahmad, and shout out to my man, too. I actually was just on the phone chatting with him yesterday. Ahmad, we had a guy come up here and say Derrick Rose is, what did he say, eight all time? Nine all time? He was somewhere in the top ten. Oh, so, like, like <laughs> if you feel like your list is your list. But yeah, wait that's... a second. When you say when you say like the inability to create for himself as a big man, that means like the inability. Like, if you if you can't if I catch the ball in the mid block, like if I can't go to work and get a bucket, are you talking about? Because I mean, how how am I supposed to create for myself if I got if I don't got a guard that's giving me the ball on the block? But that's what, like, what, that's, do, what do you mean by that? It, it based on when I'm talking about like just. Hoopers, Hoopers are all time lists for his like accolades and all players combined. It's a little bit different. But like, if you look at, at Kareem Adulji ball, right? Somebody had to give Kareem the ball, you know? Right. But you look at Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jokic can create for himself, create for others as well. Like, if I'm creating a team right now, who do I want to have on my basketball team at that center position? Do I want a guy that you got to dump the ball to? Or a guy that can create for others and also create his own shot as well as a big man. So that's where it gets a little dicey. Jabal did average almost five assists. So he could pass with the best of them. So Jabal could, Jabal could modernize his game. And well, if, if, I mean, if I, if I got Jason Kidd on the floor, I don't need I don't need a big man out there passing. Yeah, it just depends on your team makeup. Team situations and everything. That's why I be trying to tell a swipe up here, but, you know. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm uh let's 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 keep it trill. Let's keep it trill, bro. Cause you my dog. I gave you love before you came on the show because you deserve it. You you a good dude. We we have different basketball takes. We value different things. That's really mm -hmm. what it is. I value playmaking, shot creation, and like you know, defensive like fit, all that stuff, right? Um but you you've had some takes, bro. Like, you know, especially <laughs> especially about a year and a half ago, you had some wild takes that you were putting out on the timeline. I remember uh I think the craziest one was when you said something about like Getting a bucket. Who did you and you put the bigs? You put the bigs up. It was a it was a list you did, and you had like the centers, but then you said like you basically said like Jokic and Cat and something like can't get their shot like like in beat or it, it was one of them might have been cat. I can't remember what it was. That was the first time you and I ever had like massive yeah. disagreement about something. So you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing crazy. I'm, you know, you understand Joe when you talk about Joe and B, Joe and B to me is the uh... The best scoring center of all time. That's just me personally because he does so much with the basketball. And he operates at the second level in the basketball court, third level as well. And his shot versatility and difficulty is, like, really special. So that's why I look at, like, you know, players like that. So that's what it was basing off of. We know that Jokic and Kat can get their own shot. But, like, when it comes to doing it like Joe and B, that's my kind of, like, my preference. Is, is that crazy to say for everybody up here? It's not crazy. I disagree, but it's not crazy. I, I understand where you're coming from as far as the skill set. Uh, we don't he, really I know. Be, I think he'd be better if he, if he was more, you know, block oriented. I think he, I think he, I think he wants to be out there a little too much, but I mean, if you got the skill set, it's not, like I said, it's not crazy. I disagree, but it's not crazy at all. Isn't that to, isn't that to a guy's detriment? Cause a guy like Joel Embiid wants to show that, yo, I can handle a basketball. He wants to show that, I can shoot the long ball. But where's Joel Embiid been the most effective in his game? Where has he been the best in, the in his game? In the mid-range? In the mid-range, in the mid-post, and on the box. That's yeah. where he's been the most effective. 
But when he wants to show that I can handle, I can take the ball off the glass and I can handle it, I can play 18 feet away from the basket, he's not that effective. So when you're talking about big guys, big guys take their game to the next level when they go to where they're the most effective. When I'm on a box and can't nobody cover me, why am I going away from that? That's where the, that's where the divide comes for, with me and Joel and B. He want to show that, yo, I can throw the ball between my legs and oh, shoot the long goodness. ball. I can appreciate you wanting to show your skill set. But if we're trying to win and we're trying to get to the next level, Hmm. I can appreciate all of that stuff, but I got to stick to what works. When you talk about a guy like Jabal, Jabal basically had one move. Stop this and you stop me. Hmm. So the variety of moves that you're talking about, I can dig that you got a bag. But hmm. you still can't stop this. And if you can't stop this, you can't stop me. And if you can't stop me, you can't stop the rest of us. Jabal, well, I think he got three or four so, seasons. I think the, Jabal the, got three or four seasons of averaging five assists. Because he passes too. So when the double team comes, when the triple team comes, he'll get off the rock. As opposed to other guys who, one, are black holes, two, don't really know how to operate where they're the most effective because they want to show everybody else of all the other stuff that they have. Damn that yeah, bad. So the tweet, the actual, Damn that the, actual, the actual tweet was, is the thing that separates Joel, which is, again, this is this is where some of it started. The thing that separates Joel from guys like Gobert, Cat, and Jokic is his post game. We all know that how some bigs have evolved. That's cool for the regular season. In the playoffs, you need your bigs to mm -hmm. be able to be dominant in the paint and impose your will on the block. And he said that you said it about Joel over Jokic, Gobert, oh, and Carl Anthony Towns. Definitely, definitely so, Gobert and Cat. He's better. In but I, but then that's when I responded to you. <laughs> right, and I was like, yeah, yeah, Jokic is by far a better post scorer over the course he, of his career in the playoffs think, than, than he is. Like, he got a chance to prove that this past season as well. That was well, when you was, didn't you didn't believe it for that, years. That you, that you, is, were, you were not, he, you were not you were you were on the other side of that. Yeah, that's for me. Hold on, hold on, Michael. I want to make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Did you 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 thought that Joker? You thought Cat was a better box player than Joker? No, you thought he oh, thought Embiid was a better box player. You, you thought you thought Embiid was a better box player than Joker? No, yeah, Cat. This is twenty two. This is twenty two. So you thought Joel Embiid was a better box player than Cat? Then then no. Cat go bear Cat go bear and Joker. No, well, Rudy. I mean, Cat, yeah, Cat and Gobert. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy no goes question. without saying because yeah, know, Rudy, it was Rudy and Cat, and then Jokic. Right. It was more so like I was basically saying in the playoffs, like, but it that that was you know a couple years ago. Um, yeah, like that was said, two years Nicole ago. Jokic, Nicole right, Jokic proved that he's uh, arguably the best player in the league right now, and right. also like, what he did in the postseason as well. So, I mean, I why wouldn't he be the best player in the game? If 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 you estimating who's the best player in the game, why wouldn't Joker be the best player in the game today? Because when you're talking about hoopers, because it's because it sounded to me when you talk about ballers, you're talking about dudes who could just do everything, get their own shot, create for themselves, all of that stuff. What's what why isn't Joker separated from everybody else? I want to say he's not separate. I said it, it's arguably like, it just depends on preference. Who do you like? Like some right. people even say that are you a Giannis guy am odd still or this today? Are you I never like, was I'm, yeah, I'm you like KD was, and all yeah, I remember. Yeah, I mean Giannis is cool, but I'm saying you can say Giannis. Uh, some people may say Kevin Durant. Some people may say LeBron James. It just depends. Stephen Curry. It just depends on who you ask. Uh, for me personally, like when it goes to the playoffs, like right now, people say SGA is the best player or top three player in the world. I'm like, hell no, he's not. And I know what he's doing right now in the regular season, but like come to postseason, do you really want SGA over Jimmy Butler? I don't really think Why so. Why does that not matter to you, Swiper? Why? I don't really why think so. what, what I say? What why, I say? Why does that not matter to you? What did I like, say? What did, what a guy does in the postseason. I love Jimmy Butler. I'm a Jimmy Butler dude. I, I think Jimmy Butler better than Tatum when it mattered most in the playoffs. I think he better than me. I, yeah. I've been clear about that. SGA, SGA, once he do it, yeah, respect. Yeah, in the playoffs, 1,000%, Mars. Lower your, your eyebrows. I don't know why you raised your eyebrows like you thought that was a conversation. He's been better than Embiid for multiple seasons in the playoffs. That's not news. And I that's know what you're going to tell me. Well, swipe him. He got a knee injury. He got an orbital fracture. I get it. But he's still been better. Jimmy Butler has been better than playoffs. Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler legitimately every year, except for one year when he had a back injury, has been legitimately like a top five, six player in the playoffs every year. Every year. And it's just shot making. It's the stuff that, you know, Mod is talking about. It's his pull-up shot making goes out the wazoo in the playoffs. Mm. And when he's healthy, when he's healthy, chill, he gave he gives everybody buckets, including Tatum, including Giannis, including Embiid. It don't matter. It really doesn't matter. He will he will go bar for bar with anybody. His nickname is well, Buckets. That's his nickname, so I'm not even surprised at that. I won't argue that part. But Jimmy when I'm talking when, when, when I'm talking about SGA, I've always been an advocate. The postseason matters. When it matters, the, I, I can appreciate what you do in the regular season. 100, percent I can appreciate that. But in the postseason is where you elevate the legend, because when it matters the most, that stuff that you do in the that stuff that you do in the regular season, it's going to get magnified. 
Teams are going to focus solely on you. And could you? This isn't Tuesday in January where you see in Minnesota, and then two nights later you got to see Toronto. No, we get so we get to focus solely on you and your game. Can that translate to the postseason? That's the million dollar question. And if it can't, then I can't talk about you like I talk about the better players who that games who their games do translate in the postseason. I can't talk about you like I talk about them. Chill. The thing with SGA that I think, like first off, we are giving him a pass, whether like it or not. I think Why? we're all giving SGA a pass Why? because because I believe that that most people give SGA a pass because we think his game is going to translate. Obviously, it's no way to tell, but also on top of that, the next layer to it is he's been playing in poverty, so it's hard to give him to, to don't do that, Ron. Don't no, do that. Chill. No, it is, it's a fact of the matter. It's a fact that even we only got year, we only got one we only got one month to wait. That's all I'm saying. Like. We we can all see SGA is balling. Well, we've seen him in the playing before. We can see that. We can we can see that in the playoffs too. When's the last time we seen him in the playoffs? He, he was he was yeah, a different he was a dude. Playing, he was a baby he, in the playoffs. He was yeah, a okay, so, so that's what I'm saying. Dude. Like, look, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying now. I'm a, saying a, yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah, that was that was that was a different. I'm talking about now. We we can but we can clearly look at SGA and see he's balling. I think he's getting. I think he got overhyped a lot at the beginning of the season, especially. I think he's having a great season, but. Why can't we just be patient? That's the problem with us. What do you mean, you mean overhyped? That's, you don't think he should be an MVP, Hawks? Hawks? No, no. I, I think I, I said if, if I had a vote, I'd give it to him right now. I, I, I think Luca's gonna get it, but I'd give my vote to SGA. Luca. Luca is the league MVP. Oh, well, today? Well, I thought I thought I thought he was because I thought I thought Dallas was moving up oh, in, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. in the in the state. Right. So I'm I'm kind of right. talking back like a couple months. Somebody post that months, eliminated months graphic from the Lakers. Yes. Yeah, so so, uh, so yeah. So. I, I'm I'm fine with just waiting though. Like we don't we don't got to keep we don't have to keep it's talking just, about oh SGA this SGA that we can we can give him a month we can see what happens in the playoffs well, and think, then we'll know. I think SGA Cole he a calm hooper like he plays at his own pace gets to mm-hmm. his spots very skilled. Um, he's a master when we talk about the fundamentals especially like his his pump fake as well like he knows how to draw fouls which is a skill set. I know people try to pretend when they talk about. Guys like James Harden, Luka Doncic, or Joe B, but drawing fouls is a skill set in the game of basketball. But the only problem is it's just it's too many guys that have history and also that are kind of older, but like we know take the regular season. Don't really take the regular season in the way a young player may take the regular season that we have to give the benefit of doubt too. So I can't sit up and say like I'm taking SGA over a guy in the playoffs like a Kevin Durant or a Kawhi Leonard or a Jimmy Butler because I just seen them do it. Or Jason Tatum. Or Jason Tatum. Too many times. Uh, uh, I don't know. Jason Tatum got the, max, he had the most points in game. Really, again, if you're really giving me an option. He got the most points in game seven history. I mean, he he's done it. So it's just like he's led his team to the NBA. Even Devin Booker has led his team to the NBA Finals as the best player before. So it's just like it's guys in the league that has proven stuff. In the postseason, where it matters the most, so just to say that SGA, who's incredibly talented, incredibly skilled, is a top three basketball player just because of the regular season where he ain't done nothing in the playoffs, and we got guys that's done things in the playoffs, older and his age range. That's kind of like it just depends on what you what you value. And we can and we can dead the logic of him being young. When I say being young, I mean like this is year six we in with this dude. Yeah, Twenty five. He came in the year before Jason Tatum. So it's not like this dude just showed up a year or two ago. He showed up to this tier. That's what he just showed up to. So because he showed up to this tier, we Last can't year, just yeah. talk about we can't just talk about this dude like these dudes that are in the tier haven't been doing this for quite a while now. We can't do that. We can't just throw you in right. there like that when you haven't done what these dudes have done. Just do you think, Joe, do you think up. he's gonna be closer to the apex of the league? Like, you know, your you know, Jokic or Giannis or Steph when he was obviously Steph or and all them or then Braun, but you know, whatever. But do you think he can be closer to that apex or do you think SGA is gonna be closer to like mm, I guess probably like Tatum, Tatum and all that? Like does, does he see does he ceiling out like kind of right now as like a first team all NBA player consistently? You, but why, there's a little bit of guy. Why do you, Go why ahead. Do you keep- why do you keep bringing in Tatum? Like Tatum, well, I'm is saying Tatum's the, the next tier down. Oh, like why do you keep saying like he's not the most accomplished like in that age range? Like he's more accomplished in the playoffs. I mean, than yeah, but I'm saying, but he's not. But he's not like he's not <laughs> Embiid regular season and, and Steph and, and Jokic and them either. Like I'm saying, there's a gap. I'm saying Tatum is in that next next block. So I'm saying that is it. I'm asking him is he closer to like the superstars, or would you put him next to like you know some of these like stars that are like really good, really young, but they're just not quite the other apex players. Tatum clears SGA. 
to answer your question, to answer your question, Swiper, I don't think that we'll, I don't think we'll have a, I think we'll be having a conversation about Anthony Edwards being the best player in the game before we have a conversation about SGA. I don't think we'll ever have a legit conversation about SGA being the best player in the NBA. I think we'll have a conversation at some point about Anthony Edwards being the best player in the game. I mean, yeah, and he's 20, that, 21, 22. And I think to say, well, he's not that much older. I mean, he's not that, he only came in two years after. He came in two years after SGA. It's not like he came in three or four years. So they're right around the same age. But with that being said, I think the separation, not just, not I think the separation, not just on the offensive side of the basketball, but on the defensive side of the basketball is going to come Ooh. and between SGA, I think the separation will be. I'm not, I don't think it's right now, but I think it will be. We're talking about it. We're talking about a, a, a SGA can be first team all defense or below this year. He that, that's, that's a crazy ass statement. Bro. No, <laughs> no, it is not. Do you, I mean, do we, are we, are we, S, S, I, S, SGA this, is not going to make first team all defense. Uh, I'm saying, but he's gonna he's getting he's getting votes for first and second team. He might finish second team. Is what I'm saying. He'll get votes. He'll get votes for second team. He's not going to get votes. For I'm saying I don't know where he finishes, but he's he didn't want to answer. Be, answer better defender than SGA. You really think he'd be guarding like that, bro? Answer, no, I answer better. Defender. Yeah, like he's been really good defensively. Like he's not. A, he's SGA has been one of the best off ball defenders in the league consistently off this ball, season. Off ball and on top of that, on, on ball, he's not getting taken off, advantage of because he's six foot six. Off ball, off ball is different than on the ball. Tyrese Halliburton is six foot six. Tyrese Halliburton is a straight Allen, Allen Iverson led the league in steals. <laughs> he's like, not exactly ball, built. I don't want to discount a guy leading the league in steals. Because I'm not either. He, I'm just saying it, it, it is a difference. I between do. Right. Off ball and also playing like on ball. It's like why people glorify Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is an excellent. Help side defender. Giannis Cooper is an excellent help side defender. They shot contest. They do all these great things. But when we talk about like switched on the perimeter, especially like we talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, like is he really guarding? Is he really locking up? Not really, bro. Uh, this year, he's been, uh, this year he's been good on the perimeter, and Rudy's been much better defending. Yeah, previous, previous, much... previous years, I'm more so with you, but this year I think. Giannis so, do we think the defensive like? Oh, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna ask that question. I forgot where I was at. Never mind. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna I'm still let y'all know right now. I've been telling y'all, Giannis, Giannis's defense is he was way overrated. Some advanced defense. Gian, Giannis, Giannis's okay. defense is way hyped. But I'm not gonna put Rudy Gobert in there. Rudy Gobert, as far as defense goes, I don't want to have a conversation with him. And, him and Giannis. Giannis is not on Rudy's level on the defensive end of the floor. Well, I think you gotta. I, I think watching Rudy as a defender on the perimeter, he's gotten much better. Yes, yeah, his true. ability, his ability to close out, right? His ability to just defend on the perimeter overall has gotten much better. And more times than not, as a big, I am a help side defender because my player on the box, my player on the box, if I'm covering him one-on-one, -on -one, if I'm not covering him, I'm helping in the paint. The guys on the perimeter, those guys have the ball more. So you're more opt to be in front of a guy with the ball more than I am on the box. But I have, I'm like the goalie in soccer. I got one of the most difficult jobs. I got to protect the rim. I got to protect the paint. So who would you rather have, if if that's the case, who would you rather have? Would you rather have Rudy Gobert, those two type of defenders, or would you rather have defenders like Anthony Davis and Bam Alibayu, who can kind of do it all? Anthony depends Davis. Depends on the rest of my roster. Right, just, yeah. it's not just it, – it, and that's where I was going with that, Miles. I want Rudy Gobert. Like, I, I got I to gotta put a, a specific type of player around Bam Alibayu because, number one, Bam, Bam is not a great rebounder. Rebounding is a part of defense. Bam is a good Bam is a good rebounder. Bam should should be a double digit rebounder. Rudy is a glass cleaner, and with Rudy being a glass cleaner, that's a big deal than holding teams to one possession. In the difference, in addition to being a damn good rim protector. So when I think about guys like Anthony Davis, I think Anthony Davis is a damn good on ball defender. But if I have to choose between the two of them, I think I think. Rudy Gobert is a more versatile big defender on the block because he could defend more bigs. Anthony Davis has a real difficult time defending other bigs. Anthony, not, not Anthony Davis, I'm sorry. Um, Rudy can handle the five men as much as possible. Anthony Davis struggles with the five men. He doesn't yeah, struggle as much with the four though. man, but he struggles with the five man. Rudy doesn't really struggle as much with the four man as much as Anthony Davis struggles with the five. Man. So if I had to choose between the two of them, Rudy is my guy. Well, I, but this whole Anthony Davis Rudy thing is for, is a little interesting to me. Rudy can win his fourth DPOI in the same era as Anthony Davis, and has not. And Anthony Davis has had prime like 2020. He's had great personnel around him before. Like so, this year is not good. But he but he also has not like been. The Lakers defense has not been good with him on the court this year. And so I think for me, it's like this whole Rudy Gobert thing. It's like I realize people don't really. You know, they think he's like just a room protector, can't move in space and can't play pick and roll defense, which I think it's is a misnomer. 
But I also think that this is crazy that like we're in a situation now where Rudy's going to win his fourth DPOY. Anthony Davis doesn't have one. We're having conversations still about like AD versus Rudy, and I just think like the era is just going to define itself. Like, like, said just, though, it depends on it depends on preference. Also depends on team makeup as well though. But I'm saying, but 21, we talked about this before. 21, they didn't have like anybody on the court with him. It was Bo, it was Bojan, it was Donovan Mitchell, it was Mike Conley. Like so, they weren't like they didn't have any defensive personnel at all, and they were the number one defense in the league through the regular season. And he won DPOY that was year. All league defender in Memphis, swipe Stop yeah, talking like Mike Conley was swipe. Mike Conley was an all league defender. Not in twenty one. Yeah, not no, 21. not, not twenty one. Not twenty one. You're, you're talking. You're talking about two thousand fourteen. Mike Conley, thirteen. Mike yeah. Conley. The Memphis. That, I mean, to be fair, that was that's, ten that's, years ago. That was that was ten years ago. Twenty twenty one. That was that was ten years ago. You had a you had a high top fade. I I had a whole thing going on up here ten years ago. So I can't speak to that. My fade too. My fade was cleaning in the kitchen. Sink. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep right. Things. Exactly. That's, that's how long ago that was. That's but but swipe, but swipe it. In, in, Ru- Rudy's so, probably so what, to what Chill was yeah. saying though. To what Chill was saying though. Swipe it. It's like Mike Conley might not have been the same Mike Conley as he was then. But you know, you still don't lose your defensive prowess. You still don't lose your. Yeah, you your, do. He just hunted. Game. Mike Conley got hunted. You don't. What, what I'm, I'm saying at that, at that point, you still don't lose your defensive like uh like like your leadership. You know what I'm saying? Directing the floor. You know what I'm saying? He, he's still IQ. a he was. Your IQ, was spe- yeah, thanks, Ryan. He was he was still a plus on defense. It's not like no, he was oh. not. He was a plus because of Rudy. Is what I'm saying. They were horrific. So was he a he plus on defense? You say he's a plus because they were, of Rudy. They were, they were, they were the bottom four. We're we're, 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 we're team four. we're teammates. You know what I'm saying? Get my back. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm gonna do what I got to do. You get my back. Well, I, plus, I, you know I've been I've been I've been, I've been carrying you since I came on the show like LeBron and Kyrie. So I'm giving you the ball right now. You know what I'm saying? You my you my teammate. Hold me down, hey Sniper. Hold me down. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care. I don't care why I'm up here. Just make sure I stay up. I just, but no, but real talk. My whole thing is with Rudy. I just feel hey, like Ron, at this I'm going to cook him, Ron. <laughs> when <laughs> today or on April Fool's Day? Hey, but, but listen, hey, but listen, Ox, do you not think there's, there's hey, nothing yo, to Amai, it? I know this shit, man. I'm sorry. I'm glad to do this to him, but hey, Dude, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. Though. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't, so, I can't trust nobody that got a King and Mary. Jersey in the background. Respect. Oh, right, well, I'm going to cook him to him. He want to bring Keegan. Get Keegan, Keegan Murray off the floor. Get Keegan Murray off the floor. What is he doing on the floor? Get then Murray. He brought, then he brought, like, I'm, I'm sorry, Swipe, if I interrupted you. Interrupt, 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 interrupt. No, I just want to. I just really want to know. Like, he's going to win. If he, if he wins four DPOIs and he's in the same era as Anthony Davis, or same age, basically, like, what what's putting, what is. Bro, it's a lot of things. I know I know you love the awards and shit. But it's a lot of things that that go into account for players winning to awards that has nothing to do with them on the basketball court. It's Such as, do you, you think? Do you bad. not think Rudy Gobert? Oh, 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 same same oh, oh, reason. Oh, same reason. Tim Duncan and Ben Wallace is still a conversation, even though there we go. But Tim Duncan. Right. So wait, right. Tim. So is Tim Duncan Anthony Davis in this era? Is what I'm, what I'm asking. We understand the Timmy point. But you think you think AD is a yes, better? AD, AD is better than zero defensive player. He is. He's better than that. Easy. Which one should he have won? Easy. He could have won know, one. He's a better defender than zero to his is. That's my point. No, defender. no, you can't. That's zero not how it is, works. Which wait, year should a, he have won over Rudy? He should have. He should have. I don't even know what he should have won. That's cool. But Marcus Smart never should have won. won the award. My point I'm making is Anthony Davis, you look at the quality of defender he is, you can see he's a defensive player of the year caliber player. So right. zero defensive player of the year is isn't indicative of how good of a defender he is. Now, if you want to ask I'm weighing him go relative bad, to I don't know what years Rudy even won on the defensive player of the year. I don't know what years Rudy won the defensive player of the year. Well, then why are you saying he's better than you? But I can say you, Mark, you, can, say you can watch Anthony Davis and be like, this guy was the really, best defender really, in the league. Really quick, That's Mars, what I'm saying. When? Now? Really quick, this year? Really quickly, Mars, the years that Rudy won it. Mars, Rudy won it in 17, he won it in 18, and he won it in 21. Those are the years that he won. He won it in 17. Oh, uh, well, he won it in 18. I think and, he, and, he, and he won it in 20. Barry in 17 and, and 18. And he won it. I think the, the year the, the year he won it, I think it was 18. I think he, Anthony Davis finished third. So I don't want to discount a dude playing at that level. But I also don't want to discount a dude winning it too because I was playing at that level too. Yeah, I'm not just kind of, I'm just saying Anthony Davis. All I said was Anthony Davis is better than <laughs> No defensive player of the years would indicate the same way. That, that makes right. sense. Could you, you, you're just bringing the same that way. Up, Tim Duncan is better than you, zero defensive players. Do you years. think that's he's like a better Scottie defender Pippen than Rudy is, Gobert? Like that's that's just a, that's just great question. Players of the year. Yes, so I think Anthony, I, I'd rather have yes. Anthony Davis on my defense, but that's because I think Anthony Davis is easier to build a great playoff defense around. But what are you basing that on, Mars? His versatility, scheme wise, you could just do more with a guy like Anthony Davis in terms yeah. of coverages against multiple matchups. And I'm not blaming Rudy for 2021. Anyone who's been on the show knows I don't blame Rudy for 2021. You think and he's I think, the most valuable player on that crew? And I, think, and I think Rudy is one of the best floor raisers defensively we've had in this league for a while. 
in terms of you get you put bad defenders around him in a regular season, you're still going to have an elite defense. 2021 is an example of that. But then you look at the 2021 Utah Jazz, their playoff defense was horrific. And that's not because of Rudy, but that's because of how flawed they were defensively. So I can understand Rudy getting defensive player of the years because he's the most valuable defender, blah, blah, blah. But if you ask me who I think the better defender is, I think Anthony Davis allows Anthony more Davis better than Bam? I think he's been better than Bam. No, I disagree. I think hey, the um, last year proved that too. Especially Mars, you can you can put you you can put, you, you could, you could put bad defenders around AD Mars. <laughs> you can put you like you can have not a great defensive unit around AD, and I think a team would still have a solid defense. But I don't think he can floor raise a defense like Rudy Gobert can. Because hmm. I think what Rudy Gobert does in terms of basically rim deterrence, altering shots around the rim, and just basically blowing up plays, just put that paint, Rudy Gobert he runs the paint you're not getting mm -hmm. anything around there with Rudy Gobert there which means you can have worse perimeter defenders and your defense is still going to be good because teams just can't score at the rim but Anthony Davis I think when you get into a playoff setting his ability to play higher on pick and rolls his ability to run multiple coverage his ability to play weak side but also play um play on the ball um switch when he needs to all of those things it gives you more flexibility in terms of a playoff defense, which is why I still think he's the best defender in the league, even though he doesn't have a bunch of defensive player of the years. I think Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan mm. are better than one defensive player of the year between them, but they right. only have one. So, like, that's well, how I'm hearing that's KG how I'm hearing. and Tim Duncan and Anthony well, Davis talks to fit. Well, Mars, well, Mars, that's I'm not saying that's Anthony Davis is as good as KG and Tim Duncan. I'm just he's saying not the, he's not either one of them of this era. I, I think last year, yeah, we uh, disagree. Just, then, you can, then you can go ahead. La oh, right, I know, right. I'm just, just bringing my point. This is my perspective, you know, all due respect. Mm -hmm. But last year proved to, to me. If you just ask one, just one to one, Bam Adebayo has proven just in terms of navigating playoff defenses over the course of his career versus Jokic, versus Giannis, versus whoever, versus any of the Embiid, versus any of these bigs, he has proven to be a more valuable defender more consistently than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis getting obliterated last year, like obliterated, obliterated by Jokic. Whereas Bam, and again, Bam obviously got done like, you know, 30, 14 to 7 and all that stuff from Jokic. Like the Joker averaged crazy. 30 in the game, 30 a game in the final. But he, was still a better, but he was still a better defender. Again, this is this is the point. And on top of this, and I think Spo brought this up, and what I love what Spo had to say about this. Because they asked him relative to, to the rest of the league for Bam and guarding like Joker, for instance, that, just that player. Bam will give effort on every single possession. He's one of the best fronters in the league. He gets more effort in switching. He doesn't give up. He doesn't die on anything. His ability to stay locked in consistently on every possession, it just makes it that much more difficult. If you ask, like, if you just look at AD, AD just never has anything for any of these elite bigs, whether it's Embiid, whether it's Giannis, whether it's Joker, and apparently Sabonis. And my whole thing is, like, if you just look at what Bam has been able to do in the course of his playoff run, I don't know, man. That, that's just me. That's just me I'm personally. Not, I'm I, having, think, I'm, I, I want to know, I, is, is, I is Bam, is Bam a better... I think Jokic played better against the Heat than he did against the Lakers. Is, so. is Bam is Bam a better defender than Jared Allen? Yes. Is who? Yes, he is. is but Jared Allen, I, I, was, I was sleeping. I was sleeping on Jared Allen. Jared Allen is a good I'm, defender. It's it's not that easy for me. I'm not. I can't just say yes. I I just don't, I don't I don't get how I don't understand how you watched the conference finals last year and then the finals and say Jokic played better against the Lakers. I don't understand how I don't get how you reached that conclusion. For real, you mean 28, 15, and 12, and then they, they had like a 120 offensive rating when, when, when AD was on the court because they were getting obliterated in pick and roll. And Here we go. Can we can't talk who? Can all we that. talk who, Swiper, please? I mean, it's just I mean, yeah, pick and roll. I said pick and roll switch. That's what we do. Pick and roll switch. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. You can, you can, you can say, ask, how is he a better defender? He said, oh, because 120 is. I just said it. I already said it two minutes ago. What? It's a, it's a, yeah, you can say 28. I don't know what you said, 28, 15, and 12 or something. But then, you go back and watch that series. The Lakers defenders not named Anthony Davis are helping one pass away. He's getting 12 assists because they're helping one pass away. I'm sorry, that's not Anthony Davis getting cooked on defense. And that's you know, terrible they were doing that to protect him. AD that's from Joker, though. That's, that's, not, that's right, not true right. because when they put AD as the Roma and Rui on him, AD was on the one blowing assignments. It was everyone helping one pass away. And that dribble handoff action with Rui being a terrible low man Creating open shots. That's yeah, it, not Jokic. That's not Jokic just playing fantastically well. Yeah, Jokic averaged thirty and fourteen versus Bam in the finals, and then twenty eight, fifteen, yeah, sure. and twelve versus yeah, the Lakers. I'm, so. And I'm saying those twelve assists. You can watch the twelve assists, and you can also see how Miami played him, and they made Jamal Murray more of a playmaker because they were trapping and blitzing Jamal Murray, yes. trying to make his passes more difficult. I don't know how many assists Jamal Murray averaged in the finals, but I guarantee Ten. it was more than Jokic. Okay, Ten. so he averaged more assists than Jokic because that's how um, the Miami Heat 
team defense played Jokic. They played him as a scorer, and that's why he was a more efficient scorer. Whereas the Lakers played him so rudimentarily, I don't know if that's a word, but they played him so basically that they were helping one pass away, and that's why he averaged 12 assists. That doesn't mean he played better. That's Darvin Ham being a terrorist. Yeah, not just that, though. It's over the course of the last two seasons when Anthony Davis has been guarding that man, or Embiid, or apparently Sabonis. I'm not even, this is not even, you know, propaganda. He just, that's just reading why they haven't beaten, the Lakers haven't beaten him. But, like, even just over the course of that time, like, you just look at what he does versus these elite bigs relative to Bam out of bio. I think Bam has just had a better resume. Personally, but again, maybe whatever. I think Bam. So, I so think I do got a point. He be getting his ass kicked by them. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to repeat. Wait, 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 wait. his no, ass I'm not, if, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna say Bam is better at guarding bigs, he, I would. He's one of, many, I would disagree. Many? I would disagree. I would but if that's what, if that's what you believe, yeah, I, I do too. sure. But I AD's think... value away from the basketball to me trumps Bam's value on the ball to me. And I can't look at the I can't look at the conference finals, and then look at the finals and say, yeah, Bam, um, Jokic played better in the conference finals. I can't do that. Then, in my opinion, the two worst series Jokic had was against the Timberwolves and against the Lakers. The two best series he had was against the Suns and the Heat. If I had to rank them one through four, the Suns was his best series, the Heat was his second best series, the Lakers was his third best series, and the Timberwolves was his worst series. In my opinion, if that's how I was ranking them one through four. Fellas, we got the Timberwolves had Rudy and the Lakers had AD. But I'm not giving them all the credit. I'm just saying. That's the series I would say he played the worst, but he played great in all the series. But, but really Rudy quickly, Ron, really quickly, Ron, Swiper, you bring up Rudy Gobert winning, and I'm a big Rudy, I'm a big Rudy fan. But what you can't do is you can't tell me that Rudy Gobert winning his fourth defensive player of the year is that then tell me that Anthony Davis gets cooked by the better the better bigs in the game. How many times have I seen Rudy get 40 and 15 put on him by NB? How many times have I seen Joker Joker put 48 on him? Joker put 48 and 12 on him. How many times have I seen these guys it's destroy it? Destroy him. I didn't bring up just one on one stuff with Rudy. Rudy on on one more time. One more time. Ben Simmons put 40 on uh, Rudy Gobert, too. Hit. I mean, so, oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Shut, shout I mean, out Ben Simmons. I, I, I just, I, I, I hey, that like, Ben Simmons was called, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like, I missed that. I, I, I feel like when you're talking, when, you, when you're talking about a big guy and you're talking about a one on one matchup, it's hard to stop another big guy. It's very rare that, a, that an elite big is going to get slowed down by another elite big. It's very rare. More, more times than not, they're going to cancel each other out. That's sure, more you can take it a that. step further, though. It's I mean, we've seen what happened to, you know, obviously we're going to run to the, 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 the most glaring example. We've seen what happened to Drew Holiday last year in the playoffs. We've seen we've seen great defenders all get fried. That's a part and you of said that to me defender. wrong. And you said that to me. Exactly. You said that to me in the past that you're a great defender. At some point, somebody's going to light fire to your ass. That's going to happen. Good, good offense beats great defense. Not great offense. Good offense. It's if you're, it, you if you're can't. Get defended, you're gonna get cooked. Yeah, that's just part of it. That's just part. Yeah. That's just part of it. Great, great rim protectors are gonna get dunked on. Great defenders are gonna get cooked. Whatever. It's just part of it. But like, also, <clears throat> Spo was running much more advanced defenses than. Um, he was trying to do anything he possibly could. Like, they, the amount of zone they ran in that final series, and then Jokic yeah. was just tearing it apart. And I'm not blaming Bam because Bam had a lot of responsibility at the back end of that zone. But he didn't know what to do because there's just nothing you can do with Jokic there. I'm not going to be like, oh, see, Bam was getting cooked by the zone. But he didn't have to take the Jokic matchup as much as I would say AD did. And AD didn't even have to take it as much because Darvin Ham was putting Rui on him. But AD still had more responsibility than I think Bam did primarily on Jokic, just based on the fact that Spo was running that zone. And then they would Jokic would either get in that short corner or he would get in the middle of that zone. And he just broke it apart. Because they want to put two on the board, with Jamal Murray. Like, you could just play better in the finals. Let's, and and, let's and on top of that, Swiper, to to add to Moss's point, when Rui is switched on to Rui is switched on to Joker, that was, very, that, was that was like maybe fifteen possessions. So I wouldn't. But even that. even 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 if that's the case, those fifteen possessions. For one quarter. What, that's what I was about to say. What do you think that that added yeah, up to? Jamal that went crazy. That, you know, that could be that, that could be the difference in the game when Rui is switched on to him and Anthony Davis is is covering on the weak side. Well, you got guys cutting to the basket. Why? Because Joker has way more vision because he's got a 6'8 guy on him as opposed to a guy in his face in Anthony Davis who's 6'10 who's going to bother him a little bit more. But that's looking, but he's looking like uh, Anthony Davis is getting cooked by Joker. No, he isn't. Yes, he's he not. was. Yes, he was. The he was shooting like, I think about he was shooting over 60% versus AD. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. We're bringing up Jokic and it's like nobody has nothing for him. No coach, no big, no scheme. What? No nothing. So like it's he's the worst example to use because he's either gonna pick you if it's one on one, you're done. If yeah, it's five done. on one, 
you're done. It's it's nothing you could really do or throw at Jokic. He passes too good, shoots That's too it. good, scores too good, got too much work on the block, can stretch yeah. you out, kill you in the yeah. mid-range. It's just it's, – it's, it's, it's a bad example. Yeah, Jokic but might be the – fellas – we, 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 we got to move on. I got to salute everybody that's liked the video so far. Shout out to everybody that's been in here from the beginning to this point right now. Uh, we talked a little bit about all the bigs. We talked a little bit about Rudy, Jokic. Talked a little bit about Joel, too. Even Kareem got brought up. It's, it's been a good episode. But we're going to get into Joel and B. And apparently, there was a lot of questions in the air on whether he would be back by playoff time. Um whether he'll come back healthy and all of this good stuff. We don't know that, but we do know that he is set to return the first or second week of April, which will give him some time to, you know, gear up before the playoffs. And I mean, we, you know, he was diagnosed with a torn meniscus. Uh, it's been out since January, but in the 34 games that he played this year, he was clearly on pace to win his second MVP back to back. He was averaging 35 points, 11 rebounds and close to six assists. Uh, I want you, I want to ask you guys, how do you feel about him returning for the last week or two of the season? Don't do it. Don't I do it. I think it's a horrible decision. Don't do it at all. Don't do it. Don't even risk it. Don't do it. Period. Ron, do you understand yeah. the, the, the ramifications of him getting injured again? Because this is what we've seen from him over the last two years, that he's been broken down. And we've seen what a hurt Embiid looks like in the playoffs. It's not that effect. He's not nearly as effective effective as he is when he's healthy even though it might look good plus we talking about a guy who i think he went out right before the all-star break with that with that injury when they played the when they played the warriors so it'll be two months so that means number one i i haven't i just maybe started running like a couple of weeks ago i'm not in basketball shape physically i can't really compete with any of these guys and now what you want to do is you want to throw me back out there coming off of injury which I'm pro I could very well get hurt again. So in, a diff so in addition to losing me this season, you might lose me next season too. Are you willing to risk that? Because I'm not. Mm -mm. Is I'm has not. there has there been has there been reports of him be, uh, coming back? Because I just missed. I don't know if you if y'all said. Ron, there's Ron no, just said there's no guarantee time. Off. Apparently he's looking for the first week of April. Apparently first or second yeah. week of April. That's and, that's, and mind you, that's what we were talking about that when it happened. I said I think he could come back early April, mid-April, around, you know, like April 10th, I don't know exactly a day. And I think Rudy need to, if, if he, I'm not Rudy, I'm sorry, Joel, if he can come back, and like I said before, I'm sure he's not just sitting down. He's doing he's doing PT. He's in the pool. You know, he's getting shots up. He'll be, I think he can come back at like 85, 90%, man. Got to, oh. got to do it. Got to do it. We got, we got to make a run. If, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm the, the head, the head guys over there in uh, Philly, if you can play, if we, if you can play, Joel, I need you to play because yeah, this has that, been this process. This process is going on long enough. You know what I'm saying? They they went they went they went got another shooter over there, but this they this they last chance, bro. Like, go, if they don't do it this year, big got you out. If they don't do it this year, well, yeah, I've been, been out for years. I've been trying to convince yeah, like, him we, here we, to get out with me. But yeah, we, I was well. First of all, yeah. I was never in. You know what I'm saying? But since we're talking about it, like. Right. Come on, come on, Joel. It's it's time to run. It's time. It's time to go. Like they, this is their chance. We saw how good Philly was playing early this this season. Philly was looking like they could actually do it this year. Twenty six and eight I, when Embiid plays. Man, I'm I'm ready. To, I'm, I think yeah. they need to go ahead and if if he can play, he he need to go ahead and do it. And I know I know typically I'm all the way against that. Usually I'm like protect your body, do what you gotta do. But he's gonna get hurt next year anyway. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you might as well. Come on, man. Yeah, 26 eight when he played, and they were what are they like 10 and 10 and 10 22. And, 10 and 22 when he doesn't play. So I mean damn, you had to ask, like 10 and 22 without damn. Yeah, so you gotta ask your question. You gotta ask yourself this question if you're Joe and B. If I'm coming back, what am I coming back for? Am I to coming back by the Celtics in the first round? That's what I'm saying. So if you're gonna be a playing team. And it's just like the lose in the first round. Why are you coming back for? If your team is we're not seven, winning it, we're not. That's what I'm saying. If you're six and fifth seed, maybe you're coming. Maybe Joe LB wants to come back and show that like, yo, I can have a healthy postseason run. But that's not gonna really matter because you're coming in and you're gonna be hurt 85, 90 percent. You know what I'm saying? So it don't really matter. It's like well, he's not hurt though. That's that was the whole point of the Yes, he is hurt, bro. You don't you don't you don't recover from injuries. It takes like a longer time to really truly recover from injuries. Like you can come back like I remember I sprained my ankle my senior year in college basketball. Like, 
I missed eight games. I came back. Yeah, I was healthy enough to play, but it wasn't until I had a, a whole offseason of recovery after the season was over to my ankle fully got 100% its strength back. So when you're a player, like, and you're coming back from an injury, you're really not going to be truly healed until you have, like, a long duration of being off and not doing anything. Yeah, I, I understand it. I understand that. I mean, we, we've all had injuries, you know what I'm saying? I have, I've had surgeries and whatnot. I definitely understand what you're saying. But a lot in a lot of that too, honestly, a lot of that be mental too. Like once you once you're fixed up, you gotta go out there and just play. But some of us a lot of times we have trouble because like man, like I remember that pain, I got that phantom pain. But it's like, bro, you're fine. You just you just gotta, you know, it, it's a lot, a lot mental. But with that being said, every injury is not the same. So I don't I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna project. All I'm saying is now, if you are still hurt, if you if you're hurt, if you if you look at it, if whatever the MRI is showing, if the if the specialists are saying like, yo, you're good, you're not you're not gonna make it worse by playing on it. The only thing that could happen is if you injure yourself again, which won't be because of this injury, it just be by something else happening. If that's the case, I'll get out there and make it happen. But if well, if happen. like like you're saying, if if the if the knee's not ready, stay off the floor, stay off the floor. If but if that's, it's not going to get any worse, thing. if it's not going to get any worse, then that's one thing. But this right. has been a reoccurring injury with him. Man. Mm -hmm. He's approaching the magic age. <clears throat> I think tomorrow is his birthday. He'll be 30 years old. So 30? how many more years? Yeah, he'll be 30 years old. Tomorrow. He's a baby. So, come on. So with that being said, how many more years well, do we have? Feel, how, how many, <laughs> how many <laughs> more years do we have Joel Embiid at this level? Because we, we, we've already we've already seen him twice in the last three years. Mm -hmm. Break down in the playoffs. That's largely due to the reason why the Philadelphia 76ers got bounced in the playoffs because of him not being healthy. So how many mm -hmm. more years do you think we have him at this level? Can we get another two or three more years of this? Because if we can get another two, three more years of this Joel Embiid, that's yeah. different. I'm not sure we can get that from him because we've already seen the price. First of all, he came into the league broken down. Let's start mm -hmm. there. And then now he's starting to break down even more. And this injury that he has on his knee – Big Ox, it's the same knee. It's not like it's a different knee or it's his shoulder. It's the same knee, which means we're probably going to have this same problem moving forward. Are we going to get the same Joel Embiid? So, we're trading. We to, I trading. was just about to. That was that's exactly where I was going. Oh, yeah, how much, yeah, how much longer do we hold on to this guy if we're trying to win it? Because it's obvious that he's going to keep breaking down. That's obvious. Yeah. yeah. So so that's that's what I'm saying. Either if if he can't. Now it's it's not like a punishment type thing. It's not like, oh man, I'm disgusted by you, Rudy. You can't play. I'm, I'll keep calling him Rudy. I'm disgusted by you, Joel. You can't play. It's not something like that. This is one of them, it's just one of those times where it's like, yo, if we keep if we keep trying to ride this horse, we're really sinking our franchise. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, we might be sell, we might be selling tickets, we might be selling jerseys, but if we keep trying to ride this broken down horse, we're sinking our franchise. It's like, bro, we, we got to trade him. You like the Sixers? Um, no, I haven't liked the Sixers since when did when did Allen Iverson leave? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not a Sixers fan, but I'm I'm a fan of basketball, so I'm I'm, I'm going I'm going about it as unbiased as possible. I mm -hmm. just think that it's like at this point, I mean, we we've seen this since the process started. Since since Joel came from Kansas, it's been more of the same, more of the same. And if you can't if you can't do anything with supposedly the best what you call the best scoring center we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Bro, something we got. We got to send him somewhere where he can be successful, and we got to we got to get some pieces back, and we got to we got to jumpstart this again, or we're just yeah, sinking our franchise, and we're just watching it happen. I believe the Sixers have, <coughs> excuse me, I believe the Sixers have the roster construction to make some noise happen this year. I like their team, and I think if Joel can come back around eighty five percent, they are a problem. The early yeah, he, season exemplified that, and on top of that. Them getting a guy like Kyle Lowry also helps what they got mm -hmm. going on. I'm not. I'm not saying Kyle Lowry's gonna gonna carry them or anything like that. But just his veteran presence and mm -hmm. him coming off the bench and giving them those type of tough minutes and stuff like that, he helps. On top of that, Kelly Oubre has been balling. I love. I, I love a guy like Kelly Oubre over there. Not to mention Tyrese Maxey, All Star. Tobias Harris, one of the best third options in the NBA. They just got Buddy Hill too. This <laughs> roster is constructed. It. I mean, you don't got to buy Tobias, but I'm, I'm saying you got. I'm, they got Buddy Hield over there. 
They, you know, they they got oh. guys. They got talent. They got the. I, they, I think they, they got the perfect team. construction of roster around him. And this, I think, this is the best roster that he's had, except for the Jimmy roster. Who are they except beating? The roster with Jimmy. If, if, if this is the best roster that he's had, Ron, since he since he's been there, why are they except twelve games under five hundred since he bounced? Because that's, 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 that's dependent. That's dependent on him. That's, that's how that's how all rosters Holy. work, though. Except it's, for, a, except it's, for, it's a well built. It's a well built team. Buckets. Assuming Embiid is there, right? That's Embiid's not there. The team. Uh, can I think of another example that isn't LeBron James? Because that's going to annoy me. But no, I, Mars, but, you can't because yeah, Joel. No, yeah, you, you yes, you can't. No, how no, about you? Thirty-five, twelve. Every great. How about how about us? Us without Demontis? Oh, sure, sure. But like, if a team, if a team is built around a certain player's skill set, and the Sixers defensively are built around Joel Embiid's ability to protect the paint. And offensively, really? they're built around his pressure scoring the ball, especially in the mid range, and his ability to operate that dribble handoff of Tyrese Maxey. Everything they do is predicated around Embiid's skill set. Every player on their roster is maximized for Joel Embiid's presence. You take away the reason why the roster is built that way, the team is going to look worse. There's been teams that might have less talent, but they're built to withstand the loss of a player more so than a team like the Sixers. The Sixers are built assuming Embiid is there. So when he's not there, the team looks a lot worse. There's been other teams where if you take away one of their key pieces, they can still function because the team isn't just solely built around this one person. And that's why you get that's why you get things like, oh, Embiid is just so valuable because that's the team is this bad value. Control. But the team is built he's, he's solely around He's the most around. valuable player in the NBA. I'm not arguing against that, but I'm not arguing against that. I'm the record, I'm, I'm, I'm the record is that bad because, because the team is built for Embiid. So if Embiid's not there. Yeah, Luka is the same thing with Jokic, any of those players. Giannis, that's how it works. You can't yeah, miss yeah, those. That, players. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. If you take if you take Giannis off Milwaukee, I mean they look a lot different than what they look right right now. If you take Joker off of Denver, that pick and pop with with Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon is not close to the same thing. They don't get close to the same action that they get with Joker on the floor. So you could say that about a bunch of those guys, even even other teams. Like prime example, Mars, you said yourself how you felt about the 21 Utah Jazz. Take Rudy Gobert off that Houston, off that Minnesota team. How much different do they look? Just from a defensive stance, how much different do they look? Because their oh, defense yeah, is built yeah. around him. As good yeah, as yeah. Anthony, as good as Anthony Edwards is, as good as Jaden McDaniels is, those guys are even better with Rudy on the floor. Now they got to rim protect more. Now they got to rebound more. They got to do all of those other things more, and that takes away from the other aspects of their game. If he's off, if he's on the floor, they don't have to do that as much, and that maximizes them. When you got a guy like and, and I'm on record saying this, that's why I asked you, Ron, because I'm already on record saying this. You got a 35, 11, and six guy on your roster. He does everything for us. Our entire offense runs through him. Everything we're doing is him. Everything we're doing on defense, because he's our best rim protector. He's our best rebounder. Everything we're doing runs through him. So you take him off the floor. We got to switch up everything we're doing, and we don't. One, we don't have the personnel to do that. Two, we don't have enough time to do it. I actually think this injury does a couple of the players a favor, though. Uh, and specifically, Tyrese Maxey. Him having to play with Joel Embiid, he's had to he's had to be that number one option. He's had to learn that, yo, you got to carry. You, you, like last night he had 30 points. They lost to the Bucks, but it was on him to go out there and put them in a position to win. So I, I think that 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 was a little a, a small gift for Tyrese Maxey and even them too. And I don't I don't think they're gonna lose much when Joel comes back. I don't I don't think it's gonna be an adjustment process. I think Joel comes back, they hit the ground running. I just I just agree with that, Ron, for Tyrese Maxey specifically. Yeah, he because he because for, because for Tyrese it looks like it's, it's gonna <laughs> he's he's gonna get that empty stat narrative. Tyrese Maxey is one of those players where he has to win games for outside people to really see his value. Like if Tyrese is out there, because if not, if he's losing, he looks like a chucker. Who gives a damn what outside people care about his uh, see his value what do you mean? at? That's, we talk. That's, 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 that's what I'm not talking about that all the time time when it comes to media. Oh, we're, we're, we're you, looking from the outside you're not, in. You're not, in this, this, you know, listen to what I'm saying because you you clearly you clearly see that that's how that's how the NBA works now. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's all it's all about it's all about the narratives that that media and everybody's pushing and all that. Tyrese Max Tyrese Maxi. I don't think he's getting better playing without Joe Wilson. It's not like it's not like he has to tap into a whole other side of his game. Everything in his game, he already has. 
It's not like he has to learn how to do something. So you can't he's, get better being a number one option, taking more shots, having a shorter you, shoulder, more of the load. Sometimes, all, sometimes, sometimes you can. not Sometimes you can. not I'm, 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 I'm talking about. I'm talking about this specific scenario. I'm talking about Tyrese Maxey yeah. in the in the in the in the Sixers. Tyrese Maxey going out there scoring points and losing losing basketball games does nothing for his career. He Tyrese Maxey is one of the players where if he's winning while he's scoring, you can see the value. He's losing. He looks like he's a chucker. You know what I'm saying? That's that's I, what I'm saying. I, like, I'm talking. I'm not talking he's about not getting better. The, the he's not look getting better. Career. Not I'm not talking. Why? Why isn't he? I'm not talking about the look of his career. I'm not talking about his stats or anything like that. I'm talking about when it's moments that Joel Embiid isn't on the floor, or if Joel Embiid might be injured, and he's not having the best game. Tyrese, we need you to go get us 35. Tyrese, Tyrese can't carry. Need, we, we, Ty, Tyrese can't I'm, carry. He, he, he can't. can't he can't. He can't. So but, what's the point? But, Ron, you. Ron, I, 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 I can say Jalen Brown can't carry a team. Last, last night he balled the fuck out. It's yeah, going Tyrese to be- Maxey's not Jalen Brown. Tyrese Maxey's not Jalen Brown. Tyrese Maxey has more res- more offensive responsibility on the Sixers team than Jalen Brown does over there. They he's need still, Tyrese Maxey. not better than Jalen Brown. What? He's still not Jalen Brown. <laughs> what? Regardless, regardless, Ron, Ron, you just chatting now. Stop chatting. I'm not saying that Tyrus Max is better than Jalen Brown. No, he has more offensive responsibility than Jalen Brown does. No, are you guys being serious? No, I agree with that. I agree with that. Tyrese Max, Tyrese has to, he shoots more, he has to play, make more. Wait, wait, wait. He runs the point guard over there. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 so you just wait, wait hold on. Y'all brought up, y'all brought up, you bring up, you bring up defense all the time. Oh, look at these defenders. We need these two way players. Like, oh my goodness. Like, you know, we got, do we never talk about the defensive end? JB is consistently this year having to be one of their best wing defenders consistently on ball defenders, off ball defender. And on top of that, you, I think it, they're sure Tyreek Maxey has to play make more, but Tyreek Maxey also gets to rest on the other side of the end the entire game for the most part because he doesn't take any serious assignment because he got Pat Bev next to him, he got Toby, Tobias Harris next to him, or Paul Reed or Embiid or whatever else it is. So again, I'm not even this is no diss, it's no diss to him. He's a really good player, you sir. You, sir, said something that was incorrect. I'm just correcting that. I love Tyreek Max. He's a really good player, but no, please stop it. Now we'll see, Ron. I, more, I, I, more, I agree more, with you, Ron. I agree with more you. responsibility, Ox? More responsibility yeah, offensively? Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure. Expe- what are you expe- basing expe- that on? So, but I want to know, Ron, are you, are you talking about the Sixers with Joel and the Celtics with Jason Tatum, or are we talking about take both of them out the way? No, we're talking about their full, their full team. They both got they're the guys. They're fourteen. Full team, yeah, fourteen. Full team. I, I, I think Tyrese probably has a little more responsibility than Jason than Jalen Brown. I don't, I don't think it's a big gap either way. Either way, either way, it doesn't matter to me. I don't think Tyrese Maxey belongs in the same same conversation as Jalen Brown. Either way, we J- J- Jalen Brown is not the primary ball handler on that team. Jalen 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 Brown can oh, sit right. back oh, right. and watch Jason Tatum shoot 30, 30 shots a night. On any given night, Jalen Brown can sit back and will. Go, oh, don't don't worry. Wait, can I, can don't I finish worry. my point? The, final, the finals hey, are hey, coming. Hey, that will hey, happen. Jalen Brown can sit back and let Drew Holiday play mate. Jalen Brown has the luxury of sitting back and letting Derek White play mate. Jalen Brown has the, the luxury of letting the offense go through Kristaps Porzingis if he's hot on that night. So and Al Horford can even do a little bit of playmaking, and they can run some offense through him. Tyrese Maxey doesn't have that. It's Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. It's Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. If Joel goes off the floor, here, Tyrese, do something for us. Tyrese, be be a miracle for us. We need you to do something. We're, we're going to run a bunch thing, of triple handoffs, sir. You you got the offense has to run through you, Tyrese. on the court without Jason Tatum for the last several seasons? I don't, I'm confused about this. They don't stagger their lineups. And then who and who else is on the court with him? Oh, for, for his Look, we talk about this whole thing with Jason Tatum having this, this great roster since he's been in the NBA, playing with all these all-stars, Kimba, Gordon Hayward, Kyrie. Well, guess who also has been there with him? Jalen Brown. He's had the luxury of playing with all these other great players his whole career. And Jalen Brown honestly can go this out there and have four dates. And we don't have to worry. And we don't say nothing about out. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown can be inconsistent too. And we don't say nothing about Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown can sit there and spot up and shoot. Jalen Brown is the most hated two. player in the NBA, Ron. That's not all really. I Jalen Brown not, hate. Not, not, not really. really. We, don't, we, we, don't, we don't really talk. The reason why Jalen Brown doesn't get hated on as much, because he's playing next to Jason Tatum. Oh my God! Why are y'all? Why are y'all up there acting all, like why all the hate goes straight to Jason Tatum? In fact, in, in, oh, in fact, he can Tatum even more. I, I don't care about none of this. We talk about overall responsibility. Jalen Brown is always getting hated. I, on. I said offensive I mean. swiper. 
I did I did not bring up the oh, defensive just end. Offensive. And I, and I, sure. I, I okay. said just offensively. Sure. Just ignore the other end of the court. You do that though. From an offensive from, from, from an offensive who? standpoint. No, wait, hold on. No, 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 you got ha ha ha. Who? For who, Ahmad? Who? You do that. You just For do who? that. You do For that who? a lot. Talk about certain players that you don't value. You always talk about you like because I said, Lu- Oh, you think Tatum's better than Luca? That's right, he is better than Luca. He is better. Than Luka. Shut, right. shut up, shut up, stop, stop, stop lying, stop lying. He's better than Luca. Stop lying. We've had this conversation. All I don't day. care about yeah. this conversation. I don't know how I'm not entertaining this conversation <laughs> with you all. He's already you know had this conversation. Mars, you better not make your face like that. I don't want to hear your mouth, Mars. Don't you start it, Mars. Don't. I didn't say anything. I just just look, just look on your, just look on your face. That's crazy. Look so, yeah, but I stayed quiet. I stayed quiet. <laughs> this depends on what you value. That's why. Hey, what, y'all, ox, what is it ox, that you value? Ox, ox and Ahmad. Y'all can, y'all can go ahead and get from that nonsense. Tatum better than Luca. Come on. Stop. stop Don't leave chill, chill out of this. I think you can. Chill think, think that too? It's a, it's driving a, the bucks. Bro, this, driving. This, this arena <laughs> is know. over. It's, it's just a toss-up, to be honest. It's not a toss-up. It's not a toss-up. Jason's better. It depends on what you value. Yeah, all right. I don't. I'm all right. Cool. Great. Just, go, go, go. Like, like you, like you just, like you just said. Well, there's, no, there's another side of the court. Defends at a high level, so it's just like it depends on what you value. Much, 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 much more offensive player. But yeah, sure, no problem. But you like players that are like these dual forwards, like a Luka Doncic, like a Giannis Antetokounmpo, who have you know this high usage rate and things of that nature. But that doesn't always translate to winning. Like as great as Luka Doncic is, like is he ever gonna really win? In the playoffs, where it matters, him, I don't know. He's also been better play. in the playoffs, like an individual player, than yeah. a lot of these players. But he's losing in the regular baseball. season. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know because people like to compare him to James Harden all the time. But James Harden was was taking his team to the Western Conference Finals in that playoffs and ran with those rosters. Game. Yeah, 2014, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18 with much better teams. Yeah, no problem. No sure. Much better teams. I don't know, bro. I don't. I, I really don't know. I mean, they, they made the playoffs with Dwight Howard and them, and then they made the playoffs with CP3, and then they made the playoffs with Russell Westbrook and them. And they had Florida a bunch of shooters and defenders around them. Go ahead, go ahead, Mars. He made the conference finals twice in Houston. James Harden. Lucas made yeah. it once. Yeah. 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 Would you say, Mars? He made, he made, He's made the 15 and 18. 15 and 18. That's it. That was it. 15 and 18. Lucas made it once. So where do we go? What's the difference? I would say the biggest difference is like James Harden ran up against. A dynasty. If James Harden didn't run up against a dynasty, he probably has a championship. So it's just like he's done more off of that alone. And we he had like to, he lost to the KD Dutch, Warriors once. Dutch has had great like people want to like Jalen Brunson was there, Chris Osper Zingers was there. He has Kyrie. Like you act like Luka Dodge has never had great teammates or players around him. So it's just like I hear that all the time, but it's just like well, their best team was when they had a defensively slanted roster from January through April, and then they were the number four defense in the league, and then they went to the Western Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. Again, granted, the West was weak. I don't think Stephen would have went into West was fully healthy that year either. But I think relative, you need they had a defensively slanted. The roster Mavs did be so. a sixty-four win team. I agree. No, I'm saying, but I also don't leave them Devin Booker in them. But I, I'm saying I I, yeah, I agree with yeah. you. I'm saying I I agree with you, Mark. They 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 deserve credit for that. Luca was putting Booker on the map. Yeah, uh, on the map uh, and CP3. James Harden played the KD Warriors in the playoffs one and a half times because in 2019 they got hurt, got KD got hurt. So half the series he played against the KD Warriors. And then in 2018, he played against the KD Warriors. In 2015, he lost to the Warriors. James and in Harden, 2022, Luke lost to the Warriors. And James Harden and the, the Houston Rockets also, to me personally, gave them the Golden State Warriors their toughest competition, even over a prom LeBron James. So it, it's it's you can pick your poison, to be honest. Yeah, that's LeBron true. They're both, but they're both bad. They're both better than Jason Tatum. James Harden, James Harden is better than Jason Tatum too. Like that right James now? Harden. No, right that now. James Harden that we're talking about when he was playing the Warriors. He's, but he's, yeah, he's better yeah. than Jason. Tatum. He's better. So than if we're compare, yeah, if we're comparing Luca to that James Harden, of course. No, I said the play style. I didn't wasn't compared. I said their their play style. Okay, so why is James Harden he's better right. than why is James Harden better than Luca? Why is James Harden better than Luka Doncic? Mm-hmm. For what? You don't think Not James don't think, Harden? Why James is he Harden better prom, than Luke? You don't think James Harden's prom was is better than? I'm asking you why he's better. That's what I'm. He's doing. a better shot maker. I think he's also a better creator. And I think based on in the playoffs, he was able to get his team further along against a tough dynasty like the Golden State Warriors. And I don't think Luka Doncic is able going to be able to do that basically this year. This is a trap, by the way. This no, is a trap so wait. Harden. So when you say when you say better creator, better creator for himself or for his teammates? I think. 
Both. I think both. Okay. 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 Come on. Welcome, welcome to the show. How did he make it further if they both reached the same destination? Seven games best five games. Seven games. Are we serious? Yes. No yes. No way. You get, you get served in five games in the first <laughs> seven game ball fight. Seven, yeah, yeah. seven is more than five, same. mama. Exactly. They, same, he, won, he won three. He won three games. Luka won one. Like doing that, Damo? Ain't no way you doing that. Can you it's can you fight that? Can you fight that seven's off. bigger than five? What the hell, Damo? So so you're can you fight that seven, lose, eight, nine? You lost, or you just lost. Don't clip that. No, no, no. Can you can you fight that six? Don't clip that. Seven to My thing is my thing is if you're about to compare two guys and your argument is well one guy made it further. I'm not about to sit here and nitpick and say, well, one guy lost. And again, we're talking about losing. We're not even talking about, we're talking about losing. Oh, one guy lost in seven, another guy lost in five. Well, and he, he lost one of the greatest teams in NBA history, though. Like, we, it's not like he lost to some scrubs. Like, he lost to one of the greatest teams in NBA history. Playing well, that, fine. playing that, playing a play style that's very hard to do. Like, that's super fine. But at the same time, he also had better teams than Luka. I mean, not? they didn't win not, because not teammates, Steph, Steph, CP3 got hurt, by the way, and that's a part of why they didn't win. They lost. Yeah. That's yeah, a part they were, of why they, they didn't three, win. They were up 3 2. Chris Poole goes down and they lose the. So that, that seems to me to indicate that if CP3 is on the court, they probably or could have won that series. The issue is, is that Luka has not had the same level of team, again, especially defensively. And then they had, again, they, they had the, one of the most portable lineups at that time because they had P.J. Tucker. They had Trevor Ariza. They even made value of, uh, what's the dude uh, that was in the dunk contest, y'all? Green, which yeah, is nine fingers. Green. 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 Yeah, green. Green. All, all of them, like, they, they, they were literally, like, turning these dudes into 3 and D players. They were shot chucking. Harden was doing a great job, but CP3 was one of the reasons why that team took the leap that it did to become the level of team that it did. And again, when they say they traded CB3 away, thought he was lost, and obviously that stuff was wrong. They brought in Russell Westbrook and didn't do anything else. So, yeah, I just, uh, I think, I think, and again, I don't know why we're having a Harden conversation because now we're comparing Harden and Luka, and we, both of those players, at, the, at their apex, as, at this point in their career, are still better than anything Jason Tatum has been. That, that, that was that was my point. If we're comparing, if we're comparing Luka to Harden, but Harden's better than Jason Tatum, why are we comparing Jason Tatum to Luka? That, that was kind of my point. And also, yeah, Chris Poole going down is like, I'm not going to say they would have won without Chris Paul, with Chris Paul, because I don't know. But Chris Paul being there, he was the mid-range threat that they had. Every year prior or after that, they didn't have that. That's why they lost game six and game seven, because they ended up going back to their analytics basketball of layup, dunk, free throw, basketball, threes. you hate a mod. And they, and, they miss, and they miss 27 straight threes. But Chris Paul, what he brought was he was the one who was playing in the mid-range for them. He was the one who brought... If team, if we aren't making threes, Chris Poole is one who can get to that elbow jump whenever he wants. You miss that, and then you end up just going into this frantic basketball of we're trying to create open threes, and then you don't make them, and then you lose the game by nine points after missing 27 straight threes. So Chris Poole, them, Chris Poole and what how that team was built, they needed a Chris Poole. And I'm not saying like that means – because if they would have won, I don't think that makes James Harden a better player because I don't get – I don't get how we would have just been better because they beat the Warriors, but they lost because Chris Paul wasn't there. So James Harden's better because Chris Paul doesn't get hurt. That doesn't make sense to me. He's the same player. It's just Chris Paul got hurt. So I can't give him the. You, you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, I can't. We, 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 that, that's what I'm saying. We've always had this James Harden logic. We did the same yeah. thing in 19 when KD got hurt and Steph Curry had zero points in the first half when they had the Golden State Warriors in the chokehold. That and they 19 team was recovery. Just, was like, for was in the rushed. second half. So I don't want to do this James Harden thing. I, I don't. I do not want to do this James Harden thing. I'm good. No. They were still in 2018 if they pulled those fouls in game seven on the road. Yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it just, like I said, depends on what play style do you value. Do you play? Do you value the high usage rate play style, dual four role that Luka Doncic plays? Or do you value what Jason Tatum does? You know, three level scores. Jason Tatum all didn't play. hold defense. the ball and have a high usage so I, I, not, He's not Luka, but not, not, like, not, not like Luka. Luka. No, not not like, I know, I know that. I'm saying, but Luka, Luka and beat and Giannis are at the top. Luka's, of the, Luka's like, more of an engine, is he not? He's a yeah, he one. he he is the offense. Jason exactly. Tatum is no, less, he's, he's more so Jason, Jason Tatum, Tatum plays more within a system. Luka but Jason Tatum also doesn't have the ability. Luka, 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 I don't know if Luka Doncic, you can play Luka Doncic in every offense. I think you can play Jason Tatum in a lot of offenses around the league. I he's agree. a much more he, portable. He'd be a great number two. Player. 
He's a much more portable and versatile player than Jason Taylor. I think that matters as well, which is why I kind of question, like, is Luka Doncic going to go out and, you know, win a championship playing this type of play style? Because to be honest, the only type of player we've ever seen really get close to playing like this super engine role and won championships was kind of like LeBron James. Like, That's maybe it. Giannis. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. But so if if we're if we're doing that, then Tatum and Port, we're, we're measuring portability. What do you think that Kawhi? That was a factor. I just said that it was a factor. Yeah. Do you think Kawhi Leonard, because of his portability and he didn't have to be on ball as much as James Harden, was better than James Harden at that point in time? Yes, I'll say yes. No, well, I know you do. Yeah, I'm certain. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. I, got yeah, yeah, I think, but I also want to be clear, Ox. I think that that version of Kawhi was much better than this version of Tatum. So I, I think like. That's also I think fair. he's a lesser version of that, but I think if Tatum's portability is his, is just going to be his key here. He's just he he doesn't have, and even as a score, I just want to be clear about this. He's a he's a worse scorer than Luca, a significantly worse playmaker, especially in creating advantages and taking care of, and, and taking and taking uh, advantage or using those advantages for himself and for his teammates. And then the two like. Even Luca getting to the rim, getting to the line, like he just does all of these things super well. Even post game, Tatum's a good post player. Luca's a really good post player as well. Defensively, I think obviously Luca, Luca's issue is effort. He's only had a one sample size where he's had a really good effort. And it was for forty games. That's his issue. He he literally like will ball watch in half court. He ball watches like in, in full court transition opportunity to complain to the referee. All that I get it for question. sure. If you think the roles were reversed, do you think that if you can swap both players, do you think Tatum can play? Lucas play style in Dallas, and do you think who's more likely to play each other's? Tatum play could style? not. Tatum could not do what Luca can do. You the Celtics win in twenty two if Lucas there. The ball Take dominance. Take a step further, the, Delmo. They don't just win in twenty two. Go ahead. The, go ahead. the, the ball dominant. The ball dominant guy that 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 that, that, that Luca is handling the basketball, doing as much as he does, which kind of takes away from what they were doing because that offense is the ball moving. People moving, but that's not going to go on now. What's going to go on is Lucas got the basketball. Lucas creating more offense for all of these guys. So now our offense has to change. Guys won't be playing as well as they was playing when the ball wasn't moving because that's who Luca is. Remember when they swept the Nets? They lose that series with Luca. I watched the flirt. I've watched. I've watched plenty. I've, I've watched guys play well next to Luca with that game style. We're talking about putting Luca on a substantially better defense, which is something he would severely. He would, that would be a massive benefit to him to play on that level of a defense with him maintaining the offense. And even if he is that kind of a guy mm-hmm. that holds the ball that much, he's still going to get guys involved. Yeah, and massive talking about it to, to him, Damo. To him, Damo. He would have to change. But, but, but if, but, Luka, but, if this version of Luca was on the Celtics right now, we would say they're the prohibited favorites, like across. The league, period. But we're saying the same thing about we're saying the same thing about the Celtics right now. With, with this, uh, with Domino, I back, don't really know. With Domino, Lucho, back, Lucho. Oh, with Domino, I'm sorry, but Damo, back to your point. So, when we're talking about Luca, we're talking about a guy who he has to change his game. When have we seen Luca change his game? When he Never played have. overseas and was required. Oh, yeah. When he was playing when when he played on a team that required him to. When he his pro career overseas, he mm-hmm. played within the system. He was off the ball. It, right. He yeah. had to play within the system. If right. you put him on the Celtics, he's going to be forced to come off the ball because there are so many other players. If you have a team that's catered to Luka and you have a team that's catered to him being ball dominant, then yes, Luka is going to assume the role of the engine. But if you put him on the Celtics with a good coacher, with a better coach, in my opinion, with better teammates and an actual scheme defensively, I mean, it would be hard for me to say a guy that came into the NBA – out of a system wouldn't be able to just revert to that system. God forbid he gets drafted to it, so he's just right. there from day one. God forbid he has the career path of a Jason Tatum, where you come on a team with a Steph, with not Steph Curry, with a Kyrie who is in his prime and seen as the number right. one, and you're being groomed to fall into line versus going to Dallas, taking the job from Dennis Smith, um, uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis Smith Jr., and That's also right. taking the reins from Dirk Nowinski. He was set up to be. V guy from day one in Dallas, it wouldn't have been that way when he if he was a Celtic. Right. Only except what you're bringing up is you're bringing up an example of one him playing in Europe. What seven years ago? That's number one. And number two, playing in the FIBA World Championships, playing in the FIBA World Championships. What every three, every 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 two years? I think he's doing that. Meanwhile, he's playing. He's been in Dallas for six years. This is primarily what I do. Now you're asking me to change my game completely because I'm now playing in the NBA. As opposed to me playing, I can change my game for five minutes in the FIBA tournament. I can change my game for five minutes in, in, in the Olympics. I can sure I can do that. 
But now you're asking me to do that over the course of time and stay that way. This is who Luca is. The ball. You gotta ask, guy. You gotta act, and you gotta ask yourself, like sometimes, and for a player's perspective, like sometimes it's more important for a player to win their way than to go into a team and being like, you know, playing a different play style. And it seems to me personally, just watching James Harden or even watching Luka Doncic, they want to win their way. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't know if he will go to the Boston Celtics and be able to fit in and play a different play style, especially what um, OG said about him being this dual engine for the past seven years and him being a play this play style that he loves to play like he enjoys playing this play style like so James it's Harden just said it it's James Harden just said very hard. that's who Luca so, is I'm yeah. just and that came but that comes from years and years of having to play like that and again if we're talking about just swapping Luca now yes it'll be an adjustment because his game has changed since he was a rookie but just like with James Harden if James Harden goes from being a six man playing in a system on the Thunder, a completely different brand and style of basketball, he was honestly seen as a completely different player and goes to Houston and turns it on and plays a different game. And, and he plays game the next game and plays it for a consecutive amount of time, years with certain levels of expectations. He's rewarded for playing this way. So he adapted his game that way. So, yes, it'll be hard to say, oh, yeah, James, go back to being the guy you were before you went to the um. Before you went to the Rockets, he's been playing this way so long, he adapted his game this way. So, yeah, Luka Doncic, I'm not going to say it's going to be seamless and easy. Luka is still relatively young. And, again, he's already displayed the ability to do this. And Luka is a good basketball mind. But if he was playing next Luka to Jalen Brown and Derek White and Drew Holiday and them too, Damo, like, I think to, to, to think that he would They would prefer not. him to have the ball and right. play make. The and Celtics offense is to create open threes. Who does that better than Luka? Right, that's what I'm saying. Him and Trey Young? So in like, Halliburton, give him the ball. Like, that, that, he fits what they want. They want open threes. Luca creates open threes better than anyone. So guess what, Jalen Brown? Your yeah. handle isn't great. Now we've got someone whose handle is great. Now Jalen Brown can play off the ball, spot up, play in transition. He doesn't have as much on ball responsibility because realistically, probably doesn't deserve as much on ball responsibility. Drew Holiday, yeah, you can initiate offense sometimes, but I've seen this year Luka Doncic can play off the ball sometimes. When Kyrie has the ball, Luka Doncic comes off some down screens. He even sets screens sometimes. So Luka Doncic has shown this year that he can do things without the basketball. Definitely more than he has in years past. But I don't know. People just don't want to watch the Mavericks or just ignore when Luka's off the ball and he's setting screens for Kyrie or if he's coming off curl screens or he's coming off um, back screens to get post-ups. He's doing all those things. But I guess this is not important. So they don't care because they don't want them. So like when I'm talking about Luka, Luka doesn't need to Luka doesn't need to have Steph Curry off ball movement. He doesn't need to do that. He's he doesn't have the ball do that in his anyway. Hands. I'm not yeah, saying he doesn't, I'm, I'm not he's going to have the ball in his hands more because he's Luka Doncic. He's just good enough to have the ball in his hands more. Right. I'm sure, I'm certain if Jason Tatum was as good with the ball in his hands as Luka, the Celtics would put the ball in Jason Tatum's hands more. I'm certain of it. But because Luka Doncic is so good with the ball in his hands, they would put the ball in his hands more. Now, would he have to play off the ball maybe more than he does now? Sure. But he would also have the ball more than Jason Tatum does now because that's just the... And you, and you won't even talk about because like, like Tatum has these these valleys that we've all acknowledged in the playoffs and in the regular season, but in the playoffs that we all acknowledge is one of the reasons why people think the Celtics can struggle versus some of these elite teams in the playoff setting. Luca doesn't have valleys like for the most part. His floor is much higher than Tatum's, and his ceiling, you know, Tatum's ceilings are fifty-one point games in the game seven and all. I get it, but but Luca's been a profound score throughout his playoff career and. A, great playmaker throughout his playoff career and a really good rebounder. So if you just inserted that into what the Celtics are doing, for instance, I mean, then you're walking away with a 28, 8, and 10 person on the regular in a playoff setting, and it's going to be relatively efficient in the fact that he's playing with such a great team. So I just think that, like, sometimes the conversation around Luka gets a little strange because it's – I understand the, the the you know, obviously pounding the air out of the ball and then KP's comments and then Jalen Brunson, we see what he's doing in New York, and I get all that for sure. But the problem is the reason Jalen Brunson didn't have the ball more because he ain't Luka. Like, right. he, he did have the ball. Everybody that right. goes to a different team is also more successful than they were with Luka Doncic, though. So that's also – that plays said, a part. What you I said those two players have gone to different teams and been way more successful – Lynn. Them individually or as a um, team? That's nasty, the though, never, because the they both went to good teams, though. Like, like what? Chris, well, well, was Washington. Washington. Was Washington. Was Washington. Was Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein, Josh Hart, and McBride coming off the bench. That team is loaded with defenders specifically. Do you know what Luka would do with Mitchell Robinson as a lob threat being spaced with OG and Dante DiVincenzo? But even with that being said, though, I mean, Jason Tatum has 
not just evolved, not just evolved as a player, but playing in different systems. This long ball system that he plays in in Boston, he wasn't playing in that system three years ago like that. When he not only was he not playing in that system, he was playing in a different system when he first showed up. So we're talking about three different systems. Luca, when he showed up, the minute he came in the door, they gave him the basketball. He was the system. Tatum had to adapt to a bunch of different systems, and he thrived as a player, improving. Because I'm already, I'm already on record saying how Jason Tatum was was raw coming into the game. Luca was already more polished. He evolved. His game got better. He shot the long ball better because he was a mid-range shooter when he first showed up to the league. He became a better one-on-one player. He became a better defender. That's why I saw the ceiling a little bit higher for Jason Tatum for that specific reason. I just felt like there's not much more. Not to say that he's not awesome because he is pretty awesome. There's not. I don't know how much more there is for Luka. But with that also being said, there aren't guys that I've seen in the, from all my years of watching how many how many opportunities do you guys have who've done that much with the basketball are we winning with? How many? Good question. I mean, I, it depends. What but you that's a but that's the hard part about that. We, we only have the stats for ball dominance in like I want to say like the last ten or so years. Right. Who, you, don't. Well, you know who won though? I'm LeBron James, right? But he well, wasn't LeBron. Like LeBron. LeBron, 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 LeBron the only like the only ones who have been as ball dominant as Luca is James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Trey Young. They and Embiid, nice. and Embiid, yes, like and Embiid regular season. This version of Embiid. So, so like LeBron didn't, 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 wasn't like this though. I think that's a misnomer. Like LeBron did he is not. not play no, like James Luka. did not have the ball this much. He played off the ball a lot when he had Kyrie Irving. Yes, he did. Yeah. And then LeBron like, won't come with all ball players ever. Like, like you can, you can go, you can go back and watch like the Showtime Lakers. Magic Johnson was doing everything. That was my next now. example. That was like, my next. So, and they won five rings. So I'm sorry, it's possible if you have one person orchestrating a whole offense. You can have success now. Is he pounding yeah, the ball for Johnson. twenty seconds? Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying Lucas Magic Johnson. I'm just that right saying, there, Mars. Say what you're yeah, about to say. He's yeah. They played faster, which is why Dallas have been faster this year. Like, is Magic Johnson pounding the ball for twenty seconds? No, but he's controlling everything that happens on basically every single possession. Right, like Luca is. So you can have someone who controls the outcome of basically every possession and win, because one of the biggest winners of all time did that. But the difference, Mars, is, is that but the difference, Mars, is that Magic didn't have to score 35 a game. He didn't have to score 25 a game in order for them to win. He had a guy that he could dump the ball into in the post. He had a guy that he can get, he had a guy in James Worthy that he can go to one-on-one and play off the basketball. That and sounds that's like a Dallas roster construction issue. Which I I, I big said that. The way I can't possible. blame Luca for that. That sounds like roster I construction. Said that. But with that being said, Mars, Luca is also a ball dominant player. Even if yes. you put a even if you put a bunch of different guys around him who are better. Luke is still going to dominate the ball. Is that going to is that going to constitute? Is that going to translate into winning? Because again, like you just said, he's pounding the ball for twenty seconds. He would have to get off the ball more. That's going to be an adjustment for Luca. Can he do that? He hasn't he's, been able to do that in the doing past. He's doing it next to Kyrie. I'm about to say that's one thing. I, I wanted to bring up two things. One, when we're bringing up guys leaving Luca and doing better. I mean, yes. Porzingis went to Washington and averaged 23 points afterwards. Someone had to score the ball. Look at what Kyle Kuzma's doing. He's able to score. And we're talking about Jalen Brunson, the guy that didn't want to leave Luka. Jalen Brunson didn't want to leave. He asked for pennies on the dollar, and they They just didn't want to pay him. So he left. He didn't want to go. It wasn't a situation where Jalen Brunson was like, nah, I need my own shine. No, he was fine playing the role, and we seen him shine in that role. And on top of that, if we're talking about how ball-dominant Luka is, how the hell is Kyrie putting up these type of numbers? Imagine, I mean, imagine off ball players in the history of the game, but that's go ahead. And it's working yeah. fine. I mean, and it, they were. It, it works yeah. perfectly fine. It, that's something that works. Is if you have to put a guy around Luca who can work around it. Kyrie's a guy that can work around it. That's all you have to do. It's about roster construction with this play style. It might be something that's very scarce or very unlikely or very unconventional in terms of having a guy this ball dominant and trying to win, but it's not impossible. In my opinion, nothing is impossible well, in terms of team. trying to win in a game of basketball. It's just very hard to do, and it takes extreme luck, uh, circumstances, anything like that. Mm-hmm. But do, you, do y'all think that Embiid? Do you think Embiid could could win a championship uh, as the best player? Who me? Oh, I've been saying if he was if he was if he was healthy. He was on his way to doing it this year. He was on his way doing what, chill? The way he was playing. I no, man, that, stop, stop, stop. Please, please. Not. They weren't, hey, hey, weren't going to be in the playoffs. He wasn't going to be in the playoffs. 35 and 10 versus these. No, oh, anyway, I, don't want to, I don't want to run. But I'm saying a lot. He he was leading the NBA in usage. Like with yeah. 38% usage percentage. He was a, he's a ball stopper. He was a ball stopper in the playoffs too. Again, but again, to your point though, if you're a ball stopper, you got to be efficient in what you're doing. 
yeah. problem is when he gets into the playoffs, he's not an efficient shooter or scorer. So therefore, when you're ball stopping and inefficient and you're turnover prone and you're leading more, you have more turnovers and assists. I, I agree. I agree. It's, hard, it's hard winning a championship. Oh, he was injured. Oh, no, he was injured. That is true. He was been he's been injured like that. That does play account. But it's hard true. winning. It's hard winning a championship being the best player as a center. That's why we haven't seen it like a real like a center like jo- Jokic. Like we haven't seen it since what Shaq. I mean, some people may consider like Tim Duncan, I guess. But like it, it's tough when having your best player be a big man and win a championship. Like it takes a special, special. Player. So you were so basically you're saying, but I'm saying, hit. Would you also say that his usage rate is as detrimental to his team as Luca's usage rate? Given that you you're saying that Luca is holding the ball too much, would you make the same argument for Embiid? I think it's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit different for for for. I think it's a little bit different for Embiid because the offense runs through Embiid. He's not the primary ball handler. Luca is not only not only is Luca the primary ball handler. The offense runs through him too. No, I'm saying, but th- but he is the he 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 has the ball more than Tyrese Maxey does. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like he's holding on to the ball. The offense right. is running through him because they've elevated their offense to have more DHOs included. You know, little right. skip passes when he gets doubled. Like he's gotten better at that. But I'm saying that like for me, this this I'm just saying for me, it's I think the little fundamental flaw in criticizing Luca for mm-hmm. his usage when Giannis and Embiid are right next to him. In overall usage on the season, but yeah, I think to the point, but, but, but usage but, isn't about how much you don't hold the ball. Then that's, that's, just, true. that's not what it. Is. What is usage about, Mars? It's how often the possession ends with you. So mm-hmm. MB didn't hold the ball as long as Luca, but the possession would just end up with him probably taking the shot or turning the ball over. Well, but that's because he was their go-to scorer. Same thing with Yanis. Yanis isn't holding. Dame holds the ball longer than Yanis. Mm-hmm. But Yanis has a higher usage because the possession is probably going to end with Yanis taking a shot of the rim right. or turning the ball over offensive foul. Well, Luca leads Luca. I don't, let me check where he ranks in usage. I, I don't want to. Which means that, that they throw the ball. Which means that they'll run a dribble handoff and then Embiid will get the ball. Not Embiid. I'm sorry. Maxi will get the ball back and then dump it into Maxi. Yeah, Maxi. Maxi would have the ball more than Embiid does. But I look which at would make him the primary ball handler. Lu- Luca, now, Luca leads the league by a wide margin. Lucas. Luca leads the league in usage. So you have time. Time. Yanis thirty three. Shea's thirty three. Right. Anthony Edwards thirty two and a half. Mm-hmm. Wemby's yeah. in the top seven. But that is different to time of possession where Luca leads the league by a significant well, time amount. of possession is 8.5. Luca Doncic, Trey Young, 8.4, Jalen Brunson, 8.3, John Morant, 7.6. Those are your those are your in terms of time of possession. That's who's you notice how Dame game. is two spots down from there, and he's on Giannis's team. Well, yeah, he's yeah, he's 7.2. Tyreek Maxey's 7.2. Him and him, Dame and, and Tyreek Maxey are at the same play. I agree. Yeah, yeah, and these teammates. Yes, they have to be back more to than my Giannis original point. That yeah, that, that's what I'm Maxie saying. Is Usage is Tyreek. different for how long you hold the ball. Right. Yes, so Tyreek Maxey is the primary ball handler. The offense runs through Joke. I'm, I'm sorry, the offense runs through Joel and B. And he has the ball at the end of the offense. Because no, they'll Tyrese Maxey was more important. They'll, have, they'll, they'll, they'll run a dribble handoff or they'll throw the ball into him when you get 12 seconds or, or 11 seconds in the shot clock and then they'll run action off of him. Yeah. That doesn't mean that he's running it like Luca. So, no, the, I, I don't think those two things are the same. No. B's time of possession was lower than Killian Hayes. Fellas, we got to move on, though. And I got to salute everybody that's liked the video. And if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and slap that like button. We got a few new members today, so I want to shout them out as well as shout out our Telegram sports community chat. Uh, you can come in here. We talk a little bit of everything. We talk, we talk, we, we talk basketball, we talk football, we talk soccer, all that good stuff. Join. It is a constant 24 hour debate, and we still have a two a free two week trial period. Go ahead, hit that link. It's at the top of the chat. Y'all come Ryan, join the uh, join the debate. What's up, Ryan, y'all, y'all? Checking out these in that chat yet? <laughs> I'm checking out what? Too many, too, too many people, chat. too ID. many people sneaking in. Too many people sneaking in. Yeah, man, sneaking in, sneaking in the club, man. You supposed to be the bouncer, big ox Bob. I, shit, <laughs> okay. I'm in there. I'm in. How how much? I'm in there drunk. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm the bouncer. <laughs> Uh, we got some uh, new members. Let me go ahead and shout them out. Jaleel Chromedy. Shout out Jaleel. Lil JXSH? Lil Josh. Lil <laughs> JXSH. Hey, look, if oh, you want me to call you Lil Josh, spell Lil Josh. Focus, B. Why can put it? Why can Why can he put an O instead of an X? If you want someone to be called Lil people Josh, put, people, put, people put an X instead of the vowel song. That's Lil JXSH. Tough Bradley. Became a member. Shout out Tough Bradley. Mavs on them boys. 
became a member as well. Who else we got? Hunter is a new member. Sinbad. And also Angel became a new member today. Shout out all of our new members. Y'all go ahead, slap that subscribe button, hit the membership. Uh, you see, you can chat for $1.99. That is one tier of memberships. We also have a $5.99 membership where you get access to all of our playback content. Speaking of playback, what's happening today? Oh, the Orlando Magic and the Toronto Raptors. With Dub and Bama, that's going to be a hell of a time. Y'all pull up at 7.15 Eastern time. We on playback today. Um, as for the Super Chats, let me go ahead and start with my man, Alan L. He said, Jordan is for real. Just hand saw Emmanuel with six rings if we be in a hundred. Troll L alert. Dub. Woo, woo, woo. Troll alert. Troll <laughs> alert. That's what Emmanuel would be in the league in the 90s. Troll I'm alert. Sorry. Speaking of which, yo, uh, Ahmad, I got to ask you. Are you done with the nineties? <laughs> no, nah, I, mean, I, I appreciate I appreciate the nineties basketball, the eighties basketball, seventies basketball, all that stuff. Because you know I'm a fan of the game, so I think it's funny. Man, he he ain't say sixties. I'm just putting out. He ain't say sixties. You, 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 word, I am. <laughs> but no, nah, the nineties. <laughs> it's cold. You're for sixties. Oh, yeah, I mean, you should watch the sixties live, so he has like more of an attachment. So, yeah, Mars Ma think wrestling. I'm older than Greg Popovich. He wow as hell too, and he's actually seen me. He think I'm older than Greg Popovich. Chill. Yeah, when you left the show the other day. He was calling you Chill Popovich. He was calling you Pop. He was calling you Pop Town. Yeah. I mean, I think, it, I think <laughs> the biggest it, the biggest <laughs> issue with the whole '90s argument is just like what holds some weight to it. It's just like some people from the past like to pretend like. The game doesn't evolve, but evolution happens in life, yeah. period. So it's, you know, we have to admit the truth when we talk about the game today compared to the past. It is more skilled. It is more talented to a certain degree, but it's just like certain things have evolved over time. It doesn't mean that, like, Jordan wasn't cold or Isaiah Thomas and Magic Johnson or Bill Russell or Wilt Chamberlain, but it's just like things have changed over time. Yeah. Ma, where'd you go to school? Because I heard you say you played D1 ball. Where'd you play? I didn't play D1 ball. I, I originally walked on to Western Illinois in Chicago, okay. Illinois. Right. Then I went to Webster University, um, a D3 right. school in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, right. And I was going to go play overseas in Norway, but I kind of started my sports career yep. with the field of Sixers as an intern. I picked that over going overseas, and I kind of been in the sports industry ever since then. So, word. Right. Yeah, Yo, Ma, what's, yeah, yeah. what's, what's yeah. your problem? Like? I went to. Um, I went to St. John's though for my master's degree though, so I'm a John Knight. Nice. You say, man, what's 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 your, what's your comp like? Player comp? For it's like, oh, who would I? I was like a six-two combo guard, man. Like, okay, Ama, Ama, just tell tell him my player comp is a player that'll cook you. My player <laughs> comp is a player that'll bust your head. Hey, Ama, Ama, don't tell don't, you don't. that. I don't hoop that like that no more because I had a back injury. Um, I ain't played oh, basketball like two years really. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. yeah. Long time Sam, ago, Sam. yeah, yeah. Sam. Glad you said that because I got work for everybody up here. You see, Swiper left, he left just Ron, in time. I told you, I already told you, Ron. A lot of gray hairs go out, bust your ass. I told you that. Hey, chill, gray hairs or not. I told you, a lot of gray hairs, go <laughs> gray out. hairs or not. I don't discriminate. I would have bust your ass, Ron. <laughs> no doubt about it. Any yes, sir. Huh? Hey, Any but what is go ahead, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. That's oh, yeah, I grew uh, you know, I played. I was. I, I, I was oh, at yeah. Utah State. I played at Utah State for two years, and I played in Ireland, and I played a little bit overseas. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yo, I want to. I want to let y'all know that uh, what's his name that was up here the last time? Uh, Tremaine. He was in. He was in. He was in our region. Ron Ducking. Oh, I just want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. Hey, Ron, he, was in, he, was, he, was in Seattle, he was in Seattle and Portland last week. Ron Duck. Chill, who lives in Portland? Chill, who lives in Portland? I was in Seattle. Oh, oh, now I was in Seattle. We ducked him then. Nah, you know, you know, you know, uh, I ain't supposed to, you know, I ain't supposed to. He said, if I'm going down, you coming down. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, way, I'm getting, same, I'm, I'm scheduled dude, to get surgery way, in a week and a half. You know, I'm not even supposed to be running around. I'll yeah, be by the way, Ma, this the same dude who said prior to him being in the region, he said he was going to be in the region. 
It's the same dude. Yeah, he did. It's all he just popped up. No, he didn't just show up. He said he was going to be up there. So he had some time oh, to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had some time to get ready. He said he was Mars, where, you, Mars where, where you from? You from like London? You got like an accent. Everyone has an accent. No, but, he doesn't have, Mars, Mars doesn't have like an accent. Mars is English. English. That's why yeah. I be, I be saying that's something like, I'm like, damn, Mars, speak English. I don't even know what you're saying. Scumbag. Being from English, I try. I try to speak as English as clear as possible for you guys. Nah, to understand. Good. I got an accent. I'm country. country. Yeah. Oh, okay. He does. He, he does. Speak, he does speak fluent scumbag though. He does do that. One hundred percent. Okay, and you're old, so fluent there scumbag. you go. So they both cancel out. <laughs> you're still with the super chat. Said, "Uh, good sir, Moss. Um, he said, hope hope you are all hope you are well in these turbulent times after yesterday's game plus." Blowout before I can confidently say Mavs can beat OKC in a series if they don't get injured. What do you say, sire? <laughs> uh, Grandma had balls, she'd be grandpa. It's possible, it's possible. But I didn't even watch that game. I was, I was too busy watching the real game of the night. So let's talk about it, Mars, because that boy was cooking last night. I'm I'm trying to die. Okay, hey, y'all wanted to write him off after a couple after a rough 40 game stint. He had a new coach, new system. All right, it's it's about to be a <laughs> these next Ron, eight he's, years. He's supposed to be so much better right now, Ron. I, 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 I thought okay. I thought he was I thought he was gonna be one of the best players in the league by now. I'm cool. Oh. Damn. Nah, hey, listen, the Steven Silas text is real. I don't know what to tell you. Steven okay. Silas text is real. Okay. This, 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 this really his rookie year for real. Not this really his rookie year. This Sangoon's rookie year. This Jabari Smith's rookie year. Because what they were going through with Steven Silas. They, they were playing professional AAU under Steven Silas. Ime Udoka said it. Ime Udoka said it without throwing Steven Silas under the bus. He basically said he going to break down every yeah. player that's been here for the last two years because Damn. they had bad times. That's basically <laughs> oh, what he yeah. said. Yeah. That's yeah. literally what he said. It. <laughs> so I'm taking Ime's word. I'm yeah. taking Ime's word for it. That, yeah, this is okay. who that rookie is. So, so we got, so we got to cut the house, Mars. That's what you said. We got to cut the house. Rookie. He's he's no way he said that. He said that's that literally he, what he, he said. said. He said that. he's got. He, he said, said, he said he's got to break down everyone because they've developed some bad habits with the previous Damn. regime. That's oh, what he said. So, well, Jalen Green's a 22 year old rookie. Sengun's a 21 year old rookie. Jabari Smith's a 20 year old rookie. Yeah, they're all rookies. Everyone's a rookie. So I'm judging them as a rookie. Whole thing. Yo, Dama, Dama, when he was when he was a junior in high school, I thought I'm like, yo, in five years he's gonna be the best player in the league. I'm thinking, dude, about to come. But Mars, Mars said that the Stephen Silas tax is real. I will say he a rookie. He a rookie. That's on there. I don't know. Ever since the. uh this is the baby been announced, man. He's uh he took basketball hey, a lot more serious. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he's he's he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's averaging he's averaging like 26 over his last eight games. So yeah, five five this burger's being me. This is the same dude that y'all was this the same dude that I'm pretty sure I heard that he might not be in the league in two years. No, that, 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 that stretch he had in like yeah, the stretch he had late December, early January. Like I don't know how long the stretch was. Like trade, Jaylen trade, Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Like, no, that, I, I remember it was the nine game stretch. I just had to find it. Nine mm -hmm. games where he was averaging twelve points on thirty percent shooting. It was it was bad. It was it that was that was a low point in the Jalen Green support club. That was, it did Jalen Green that, was, that hey, wasn't great. That but was, he, that he's was... he's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's he's mm -hmm. looked um he's looked special. he's looked a lot better as of, as of late. So yeah, that's that progress. was that was a good point though about the baby. I don't know if any of y'all was playing sports. Before and then after having the kid, and before and after, but when that when that baby on the way, you 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 got you getting busy like your game oh, changed. He got a good woman on the side right now. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Jenny Green. Green. And shout, shout out, up, bro. Yeah. No, shout out to Junior though. For real, she in year twenty one, like LeBron status. Like, she is not playing, is she? <laughs> she is not bullshit. She is serious. She's still serious. She is first team all league at year 21. She is not playing. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at either one of them. I just want to say that I'm, I know I might not agree with everybody's decisions, but shit, we all I'm grown here. Do your thing, man. I'm mad at Jay. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed. I'm like, gentlemen, that was a, a Nimrod thing to do, but shit, man, whatever. Man, you're a young rich nigga. Have fun, man. First shit, of all, yeah, first man. of all, <laughs> y'all seen y'all y'all seen how Jalen was doing his teammates. That boy didn't know what he was doing, man. He was just he 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 was probably starstruck. He was probably shocked at what was going on. That's a, like he said, that's a year 21 vet. She knew exactly what to do. 
Hey, I, I, I want to get back to what Jalen was doing oh, on man. the court. I want to get I'm back to what he's doing on the court. I'm disappointed in Jalen. Why? Why? Hey, Jalen was I, was for I real. Chilling and, with young fella. I, hey, I've been there. I was there. Oh, man. It, I all lost, serious. Lost thing. in the sauce, double. Hey, lost in the sauce. Ain't know what you do. You just out here living your best, your best goddamn on uh, your best dream, your fantasy. Like, Back man, to Jalen on and we, the court. And we, Ron, but we all went MIA for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? Ox. Like, Ox. She was doing stuff he ain't never seen somebody do. She got the rag. The rag outdoors is crazy. He ain't never had somebody get the rag out. Yo, like, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. I went to wipe me <laughs> down and everything. Yo. He was like, <laughs> Damo. <laughs> Not only did she do that, but she did it. Nah, Dabo is a big boy right now. On top of that, Dabo. On top of that, Dabo. On top of that, Dabo. She made him a sandwich, too. Don't leave that part out. She made him a sandwich, too. After that. He was like, he was like, oh, yo, you want some juice? Oh, just look on the nightstand right there. She had the juice ready. She already had the juice ready. She had everything. Was it the Minute Maid fruit punch? When you're 22 years old, man, you don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't, especially when that's going on. Hell no. I'm 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 21 years old. I was dating a 28 year old in college. I thought I was the man. You couldn't tell me nothing. Right. And she's 28 years old. She had a job. She had her own apartment. She had a car. Man, I thought I was the man. And I was broke. I wasn't getting no money. So I can only imagine a dude that's 22 years old that messing around with a grown up. Can't tell him nothing. Yeah. Fellas, back to what Jalen Green did last night. He had 37, shot the ball well, and they won. I mean, they played the Rockets or the, the Wizards. But did y'all did y'all did y'all see last night's game? You think we watching Wizards games, bro? This hey, I, I, I could I've, I've seen, seen it from start it. to finish. I've seen it from start to finish. I've seen some of it. Mars, yeah, that's that's this is the Jalen Green I, I was expecting. And he actually – he looked probably the best I've seen him look over his NBA career. Mm. Against the Wizards? I guess the team – I guess the team that was playing Kyle Kuzma at the five. So, like, there's context. There's context. The Wizards are the worst defense in the NBA, I'm pretty sure. So – yeah, the worst they're, they're, team, Mars. They're not the worst defense. They're the worst oh, well, team. Yeah, I tried to tell you they Mars. were the worst team two weeks ago. Yeah, listen. So at, at least now you've realized they're the worst team in the league. The but yeah, the, 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 wizards are, the Wizards aren't a good team. So I think at some point you can look at it and be like, it's the Wizards. But I think the greater sign of promise is he's finishing at the rim so much better than he had earlier on in the season. And that's not just against the Wizards. That's just generally speaking. He's been the most efficient guard in the restricted area in the month of March. The most efficient. Any guard you want to think of, he's been the most efficient. So that, that's a sign of improvement. Um, once he can start drawing some fouls and get into the free throw line, I think his scoring will be a lot more consistent because I still don't think he's a great three-point shooter yet. So he needs to find a way to draw some more fouls, even though I think his whistle is just really bad. But once he figures that out, um, you, can see, you can see the path to success. A couple months ago, it was it not was some so dark much. times. It was some not dark so times. Not but so you can you can you can see he's improving. Ime said he wanted him to become a more well-rounded player. Jalen Green says he's wanted to become a more well-rounded player. He's back, he's bought in on defense recently. He's been playing defense. So um you can see he's improving. Like his playmaking, his decision making is better. He's playing defense, like I said, he's getting out in transition, he's finishing at the rim. Just the the there's a few more things that he should probably be looking to work on in the offseason. But the past the success is there. Year four, I at year four. I think he has to start the year strong. We can't keep going through the same thing of bad start to the season, post all star break. He looks like a, looks like an all star. He needs to have he needs to string together a full season. So hopefully, year four can be that year. He's gonna be he's gonna turn twenty three next season. He's still young. He's still just as young as some rookies in the NBA right now. So there's still time. And um, it's, it's interesting how you've come around, Mars, because this wasn't the logic about two months ago, boy. You was just not nah, because that him. time was bleak. You I was, was trying to push the out. agenda, and he was looking at the worst player in the league. You was, was just about I out. Was yeah, I, was I was struggling. I was struggling. I was struggling. I thought maybe he needed a change of scenery. <laughs> like maybe maybe it just wasn't a good fit. But yeah, he, he's figuring he's figuring things out. I, I think yeah. it's nice. Now we we play the Cavs on Saturday. He's gonna have a good bad luck. game. Good he's gonna have a bad game. That, that rim protection, mm -hmm. Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. Yeah, it's not gonna be a very efficient game. So when I come back on Monday, 
Don't talk to me about how Jalen Green had a bad game. I've already anticipated. I know he's gonna have a bad game. Now, so now, when he quiet. does have a good game, are you gonna? Keep oh, 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 yeah. Talk to, talk to me about that game. Talk to me about that game. If he has a good game. Talk to me about that game. <laughs> you know what time it is with him, Damo. Yeah, you know yeah. what time it is. Absolutely. I mean, if he's a, if he's able to excel against elite rim protection, that's a good sign because he wasn't very yeah. efficient against the Spurs. Because I mean, he's he's there. finishing. He's number one at the rim, right? You said the yeah, but but then All you right, look then at prove it. Prove yeah, it. Do, yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Do it when it's some real elite rim protectors. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what and I'm, I'm, for. I'm confident in Jalen Green, so I, I think I'll have a good game. But, Morris, did you see the double behind the back? Make the defender fall. Yes, of course I've seen that. Shoot yes. the three, turn around and start running up court before the ball even starts descending in the air. I'm talking about he, did, he didn't wait for the ball to get close to touching the rim. He turned around as soon as the ball left his hands. That's one First of the highlights of, of the season. Like hold on, hold on. highlight. That's one of the highlights of the season. He <laughs> dropped him and stared at him while he was on the ground. One, like he stared at him the entire yes, time after the shot. Yes, and I then on the turn, that. so I'm giving him extreme plus points on that. Yes. I do got to take some minus points on the look back though, because when he turned around, yeah, ain't peep it. He turned back to make oh, sure. Oh, he, 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 <laughs> he, 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 he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. You're right. You're right. Because he put some arc on it. So when he turned. He was expecting to hear a reaction. He didn't hear it. Wait, did it go in? And then they Uh-oh. went. So, Uh-oh. I mean, a little bit for that. He peaked. He uh-huh. did peak. But massive crossover points because staring at a defender as they're on the ground, gathering the whole time and then shooting, super disrespectful. That, that's, and that's real quick. The, that's one of the highlights of the season. Like, and, 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 and real quick, James B., you the paper that come in a Subway sandwich, you crush right can head. Stop talking to me. That's what you do. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Whoa. Ron. No, okay. But yeah, highlight, one of the highlights of the season. He's had like two of the biggest highlights of the year in the last week. Yeah, uh, yeah, the the dunk on Portland, yeah, 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 Portland. Mm-hmm. and then this. I mean, he also had a crazy dunk against the Hawks too. But yeah, also shout um, shout out to Amin Thompson. He bought out For last sure. night too. Started sure. um, once again. I mean, I know it's against the Wizards, but twenty points on nine of 12, 11 rebounds, three steals. Mm-hmm. He's averaging like thirteen and eleven as a starter. He's gonna get 11, better, Mars. Uh, Mars, you gotta get, you gotta give him more credit for his potential improvement. You have to. I think he's gonna improve. I just don't think he's ever gonna be able to be a good shooter. He's gonna improve. I think, improve. He's gonna be I, I think his handle is gonna improve. I think you're wrong about um, that, Mars. I do. Because right now, right now, he has to play in the dunker spot because he can't dribble. Right. So that that's the next step for improvement in the offseason. He because he's meant he got drafted as a point, so he's he needs to work on his handle. He needs to be able to actually run the offense. So that we can see his passing ability and his ability to get downhill create for guys. We don't really get to see that much because he can't dribble. The shooting, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. I just I don't I don't see it. All right, fellas, moving along. We got a few more super chats, and then we got to get into our segment of the day. I um have a Joel Embiid versus the field lined up for you guys. Uh, as you guys can see, we talked about Joel returning from the playoffs or for for the playoffs, in case you weren't here, Joel Embiid is set to return the first or second week of April. So we'll see what that looks like. But I have a Joel Embiid versus the field, and we'll get into that in a second. But my man Yersta sent through another super chat. He said James Harden lost to a loaded Warriors. Luka lost to a Warriors team that exposed the Mavs in the Western Conference Finals due to having Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleber as his front court, dot, 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 dot. But not play styles for winning. Yeah, I don't. I don't think their play styles have been the problem. I think luck in terms of injuries and to the maybe the best team ever in your conference, and then roster construction for teams like Dallas. I, I don't think it's play style really, in my opinion. Also, the refs were cheating against the Rockets in 2018. But other than that, yeah. Uh, Assad R said, "Mars thinks Bayern <laughs> is a good team. Is good this year. They, they, they confirmed they sure. football casual. They for sure cheered. And it's not about Bayern being good or not. Um, it's about you know, like even if even if you like know you're better than someone, but there's just someone who just has your number. Like they they like they're not good, but against you they're good. That's that's Bayern Munich. They they." It's just PTSD. Like that's big country and not just first the Lakers. Like I feel it. It's just PT. It's just PTSD. <laughs> that's all it is. We we play Bayern Munich even when I think we're a good team, ten two. Even when I think we're a bad team, ten two. This year I think we're a better team. Probably gonna be ten two. Like it's just it's just it's just. They own y'all more. That's what you're saying. They have ever since we've been playing them in the last decade. Hey, man, shout out FC Bayern. They're doing the um quarter leg final. 
Uh, huh? What you think uh, Bayern's going to do in the quarter leg final in the Champions League? I hope they lose because they're playing my team. <laughs> uh, you like Arsenal? Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope they lose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. Shit. I'm, my, my team is horrible. Manchester United, they just are trash. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> it's dark times. It's dark times. Yeah, dark times. Anthony Rosario said, "We lost. I'm glad Kyrie cooked that free throw, free throw merchant in OKC." Oh, wow. Yo, hey, because Swiper is an SGA guy. Where is this free throw merchant SGA thing coming from? Yo, what's going on here? Where is it coming from? Um, from him being like fourth in the league in free throw. Time? Yeah, just about him. Does that make him a free throw merchant? Because I get to the stripe a lot. People don't like those people. Yes. Unless you, unless your player plays for your favorite player plays for your team, you do not like. <laughs> How ethical are those buckets, Damo? Uh, the only way you can get that high volume of free throws and not be unethical is if you play like Russell Westbrook. Like you have to play that style of basketball for me to justify you getting to the line that much. Shea Anybody, drives more than anyone in the league. I'm not talking about just driving. I'm talking about the 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 the, the effort and the hustle that goes into the drive. <laughs> hey, it's too finesse. Russ is going. Russ is going at the rim with straight ferociousness and power. Shea is going to the rim with finesse, with with, with skillful moves. These baby ass moves to get you to jump. You know, get it's you to foul. Smooth, and things like that. Oh, it's super smooth. I, I I I love it. Listen, I love it. I just it's categories of hoopers. You have ethical hoopers, unethical hoopers. Shea it's right now, unethical. He, he's the face of unethical hoops. The face at the face, he's at, at, right now. I mean, Embiid's hurt. Hurt. He's, he's, he's hurt. I would unethical, say Shea. Unethical, unethical, unethical yes. hoops. I, I would say Shea crazy. right now. Shea's the face of unethical hoops Yo. and the face of ethical hoops. Is it still KD or Curry? KD, Curry, Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie's up there, but I would say KD. I, I think I would say KD. I don't know, man. What, what, what was it? 40 points, no free throws. He can't beat that. Spot Look, Jamal Murray up there for ethical hoops too. Facts. You know that's you know what though. Jamal is just a hooper. Jamal just be balling. He just trying to get to it. I think I don't think sometimes I think he gets overrated as far as how good he is. But his just straight just hooper, like hoop level of just being a hooper. He up there with Kevin Durant. Who? Like Jamal, not as not talking about not as good not not as good as Kevin Durant. I'm talking about Jamal no, Murray. Right scoring bucket getting. Okay. Not it's not not even just bucky and just oh, being a hooper. Like if we if you if you got a if you got a meter if you got a meter like who, how much of a hooper are you? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Jamal Murray hooper. up there with KD. Yeah, he's a that's, hooper. That's real. He cool or whatever. Does is hoop. There's <laughs> only two. G there's only two you. players average. That's why. That's why. That's why Donald don't like Cody hoops. And it's Kyrie. That's not why I don't like him. That's not why I don't like him. Nuggets are cheap. It's Mr. GQ to you sent through a super chat. And say you from Hillside Swiper? Question mark. I knew yep. you was my favorite. Hashtag yep. cook they ass swiper. Oh, Hashtag hey, 30, box 30 second, bully. Thirty second in MLK. Hiawatha Davis. Thirty third in Holly. You know what time it is? Yep, mm, absolutely. One thousand percent. Still gonna cook your ass. What is that? Ox, you ain't one yet. <laughs> you ad. I'm some bonus. Talk about that. Um, you ain't one yet. I'm glad you brought that up. Can I ask a so question? Bad. Can I just ask one question? Because I heard that conversation earlier. One, all the Rudy talk was disgusting. But I just need to ask, can y'all name me the defender that can competently guard consistently a Jokic, an Embiid, a Sabonis? Who is that guy? Because whoever that guy is should be the face of defense in the NBA. Sabonis. You ain't, hey. You ain't see what St. Goon's done to them this year. Get hey, Mars. Don't even start it, Mars. Jokic's no. most inefficient game came against the Rockets. I don't know what to tell you. He's tough. St. Goon's tough. He's tough. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, if you want to talk about slowing them down, St. Goon's yeah, probably has the best games against all three of them combined. Like and beat yeah. Mars. How do you how do you how do you, uh, how do you uh, gauge efficiency, Mars? Um, vibes. Okay, so so there's <laughs> nobody that can guard those guys. Is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. Nah, so there's no man, name. No one has a name. Let me okay. find what you're sure. Jared, Jared, but Jared, for Jared, whatever reason, Dray, Dray but for whatever Green reason, job. But, but for whatever Draymond reason, Green got 30, the NBA world. I'm gonna mute. The NBA no, world loves Sabonis. to throw their little narratives oh, about man. Anthony Davis yeah. getting getting served by these dudes. Like that's you an up, so, of his You brought up Demontis Sabonis. So you brought that up man Sabonis. That man Jokic is shot below fifty percent against us this year. I don't know what to tell you. Apart from that one time he shot above fifty percent, but other than that one, Swiper. Uh, apart from that time, whoa, 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 that just went. He was nine for twenty six. Uh, 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 apart, okay, all right. 
okay. That's apart thank from, you right there. Nine for apart from that one time that he did what, Mars? Yeah, he was he was 12 for 19 in one game. Cool, good thing. Okay. But nine for 26, 14 for 31, 13 for 26. Right. He checking. Right. He getting cooked. Okay. Yeah, Sangoon locking them up. Yeah, put some respect. So there are yeah. nobody. 12 for okay. 19. No, I, I gave you who it was. You just wasn't the answer you wanted. You wanted to hear a lockdown defender, but respectfully... It's I mean, then if it's Singoon, then if it's Singoon, then Singoon definitely is top five center in the NBA yeah, right now. Yeah, That's yeah, question. Yeah, but yeah, I said that going into the year, though. So, I mean, yeah, I, I've so been so to so Singoon like that. Give him his respect. This man's a bonus. Can't even play about 30 minutes against I, I said top 10. I wouldn't be surprised top five. Going to the season, I said Singoon is going to be a top 10 center, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's top five. I said that. I like that take. You like it. Yeah, I like he's top. He's he. What he's his take was he's top ten. Now, I won't be surprised if he's top five at the end of the season. I don't think he's top five, but he's definitely top ten. And the kid got the kid got talent and a lot of promise. Definitely. Yeah, and and, and be better than Wimby. Wimby's a center. So. I think he's better than Wimby. Wimby's no, a center. No, I don't think he's better than Wimby. He dropped fifty. Did he drop forty two? I think he got. I think he got. I think he got more. I know Wimby. Oh, he just dropped forty five on Wimby. What crazy word? Are you making a Are you making a Shagun over Wimby argument right now? I'm just no, saying it ain't, it ain't as it's ain't black as white as you trying to say. Oh, it, it for sure is, but I'm gonna hold on to that. So. You trying to <laughs> when 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 be like undoubtedly clears, but he did drop 45. So, oh, yeah. in that scenario too, I was saying Giannis Pretty and AD sure, yeah. technically aren't centers too. So I I took them Giannis out. Giannis is an AD and center. He plays center. He plays center. Okay, okay well I'm just he telling you what I said. He okay. won first team All NBA as a center in 1920. We even know you played 23 percent of the center. Anywho, anywho, like I said. I said I wasn't considering Giannis an ADS image. So for this conversation, I got you. For for that for that statement, that's how some people. Cool. Yeah, 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 so, they, so, um, they Embiid, the Embiid gave the Rockets full one, one, but other than him, yeah. So I mean, they, no, no, no. They're both. I mean, even with them both in the conversation, he's still top ten. But the top five pushes where obviously they're not there. If I'm saying he's top five, yeah. So do you think he's wait? Do you think he's top five? Outside of those two, yes, I do. Yeah, Wait, what? What do you know? What do you say? Outside of top food, two. So take out a, AD and Giannis, right? Take out AD and Giannis. I think he's top They're, five. Yeah. So Jokic, you, Jokic and Embiid. Then who? Then the so bonus. Time. Bam. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all crazy. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, call Let me, me crazy. Maybe, maybe I'm about to be. Is a hater. Better than Demontis? No. no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Be quiet. Be quiet. Maybe I'm a hater. Maybe I'm a hater. I got to round it out. I got Wimby and Singoon. I don't have Bam up there. Maybe I'm just. Oh, so Sabonis, Wemby, Sangu? Yeah. Rudy. Oh, Rudy. Oh, Rudy. 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 Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to make sure that. Because this the same dude, this the same dude who said that, that Rudy is is Bismack Biombo. I don't know yeah. if you've been. He's French Biombo. I, I, I don't know if you've been seeing what Biombo has been doing in Oklahoma City. I, I, I want to make sure that. that, that he passed that, out. That's well, all I ain't even. I, I'm not even talking <laughs> about the passed out part. Just so you know, the 13 games he's been on the roster, he hasn't played in eight of them. DMPs. That's number one. That's just, that's just racism. And, in in the, in, the, in the five games that he played, completely and utterly ineffective, giving him nothing. Yeah, Rudy, on the other he's not in a rhythm. He's not in a rhythm. Uh, all right, y'all. Let y'all enjoy y'all troll all I'll see later, y'all later. Later, yeah, swipe. Good see you next week, brother. Merry Christmas, brother. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely, you're horrible. I definitely do. It's a I, yeah, I definitely do. It's a horrific I take. Do it's horrible. I'm not trying to convince somebody. I'm just saying with my other puppy. You better, you better get in the gym, swipe. Not yet. I better get in the gym. Ox, that's what you, Ox, that's hold what on. Be headed Ox. right now. Look at, look at, look at, look at Ox shoulder, shoulder, shoulder to next, shoulder to shoulder. Look at that. No muscle in there. No definition in there. Don't talk to me about the gym. It's just flat. It goes. It's one line. It goes one now line you across. That, you better get in that gym, boy. <laughs> All right, y'all. This Later, is the perfect bro. time to go ahead and get into. You you out? Yeah, I'm about to leave too, but you about to get yeah, into. Good to meet you, brother. Segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the last segment right quick. You you got a couple more minutes? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We got Joel Embiid versus the field. All right, y'all ready for this? I'm gonna go around the room, and I'm gonna give you a player, and then I'm gonna ask, do you think Joel Embiid is better than this player? Yes or no? It's very simple. Very simple. Uh, we're gonna start with you, Ahmad. Ahmad, Mars, Chill, Ox, Damo. Uh, the first player is Anthony Davis. Oh, it's uh, current players. It's current players. It's, 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 it's a mix. It's a mix. Oh, it's okay. the field. Um, yeah, John, John B. For sure. Easy. Mars. Embiid. Yeah, Embiid. Mm. Joe Towns. I'll, I'll take Embiid right now. Love it, but I'll, I'll take Embiid. at their best. 
Well, like their best, like no, 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 eighty, no, 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 yeah, four yes, years, yes. like eighty, this, like this, four years ago. Yes, this, this, this is actually their best. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me get Anthony Davis. Let me get AD. Davis. Wait, wait. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me get, let me, let me get AD. I, I said that too Davis. easily. Let me get, let me get AD. I'll take Davis. I'll take AD too. I know he was doing everyone at their best. Okay, peak for peak, AD clears. I don't know if he clears. I was picking AD either way, so AD. Okay. Up next, we got Joel Embiid versus <coughs> Moses Malone. <laughs> I'm on. I mean, Moses Malone, three-time MVP, led the Philadelphia Sixers to a Finals championship. It's it's tough. I'm gonna say I'm gonna roll with Joel Embiid just because I've seen Joel Embiid live. So I'm gonna say Joel Embiid. That's what I'm basing off of. Mars. I'm a, do I? So if I just say Mars, this ain't complicated, I'm asking a question that I think is valid. I'm, I'm asking a question that I think is this valid. This is nonsense, right here. Am I assuming Embiid's just always healthy? No, Mars. You, we just got the bottom of this. Give me Moses. Okay, give me Moses. He said at his best. This dude at his best. This dude at his best. Moses. Yeah, but Embiid at his best and healthy is better than Moses. But he's that's what we talking about. Yeah, that's so I'm asking. Am I assume? I'm, I am I take? Am I taking that's injuries off the table? That's yeah, it's peak. It's peak. Like assume no, whatever you want. It's your pick. In his peak. It's your asking. pick. It's your pick. However you want to take it, take it. Whoa. I thought you know. And be fully healthy is better than Moses Malone. And be fully healthy is better than Moses Malone. From a talent standpoint, from a production standpoint, all of that other good stuff, he's I'm just, taking Malone. He's better. Yeah, he's better. I'll Moses. take Moses. Moses. All right. Chill's taking Moses. Ox, you taking Moses too? Yeah. All right, Damo. Yeah. Uh yeah, give me a bead. If I'm done with the nineties, you don't want to know how I feel about the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moses well, played in the nineties. Shout, shout, shout out to the poll right now as well. Nah, you guys know. You know. Well, so yeah, let me see what the poll is. Only, only argument Moses has is that Embiid gets hurt. And I, I can hear that argument, so I'm fine with that. But yeah. if you're saying both fully healthy, nah. Give me a bead. All right. Next we got Joel Embiid versus the White Howard. <clears throat> oh, okay. What? <laughs> well, you got it, man. I'm gonna go with Joel. Wow. Okay. Boss. Mars. Joel. Hmm. Still Tim. Howard. Pick the white. Pick. It. Pick the white is the best center in the NBA right now. Yeah, I remember you did say that a couple yeah, of Pick, ago. Pick the White. Pick the White is torturing Joel, torturing Jokic, torturing everybody. Let me give me the White. No doubt. Give me Joel Embiid. Give me Joel Embiid. Pick the White is getting done. Like all the other good centers are getting done today. <laughs> all those same exact players. Only only argument Dwight has once again is how he know better than Joel. Yeah. Damo, is Dwight Howard, is he a better defender than Anthony Davis? Could he handle? Could he handle Joker? No, nah, let me say. Let me. Yeah, I think he's a better defender. Peak for peak, I think he's a better defender. Could he handle Joker? No, I don't. I don't think he can. Handle, he can handle him. He's not even a better defender than AD. AD's better than Dwight. What the? Okay, whatever. No, I think he's a better rim protector. I don't know if he's old or a better defender. AD, all, AD is comfortably. I think he's a better. Def, I think he's a better all around defender. Nowhere. I, Nowhere. Think, Nowhere. I, Nowhere. I think Dwight's a better. Dwight's definitely a better rim protector. He's definitely a better shot blocker. Um, better shot blocker than AD for sure. Yeah, yeah. one on one. Um, and let's not even bring up one offense. On one. We bring up offense. One on one. No, we're talking about defense. We're talking about D. That's all we're talking, yeah. talking about on the defensive end of this. On, on, on the shot, right. shot blocking. I'll give him shot blocking, rim protection over AD. But other than that, I'm going to say AD is better. Yeah, better. And even, and, and then even because I, I got to do it because I need oh, to yeah, talk both sides of the floor. I don't like I don't like to do that. We got to talk both ways. Even if we talk about the best player, I know I know we not, but I am because that's what we got. That's what we got to do when we start comparing them. We I I need to I need to get the whole scope because on top of that I'm including the chat in this conversation. I'm looking at the chat and y'all act like the white didn't have no work on the block. Like he didn't have a run and jump hook. Like he didn't have a turn around off the glass. Like he didn't have a drop. Like he wasn't a lob threat. It was, it was all right. Yeah, I mean, Rudy, 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 Rudy goes back. Yeah, 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 that's in Rock and, 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 and that's not what I said, Mars. I didn't say that about Rudy. I'm gonna say yeah, the White House offense the White House is and the White House offensively by every means. What I'm saying is this, what I'm saying is this, yes, these other these other players might have have more than than the White offensively. 
but mm-hmm. Dwight still had what he had offensively, and it was still it was still impactful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah, so was, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah, they, they got him on the on on the offense, but I think the white clears so much defensively, and just being an impact, you know, being actually and actually being a gazelle up and down the court. Dwight, I'm taking Dwight. I think Dwight Howard clears all of them. I don't think he clears. I don't know how you can watch New Orleans Dwight Howard. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't think he clears them, but I think he is better. All right, y'all, we're keeping it pushing. On to the next person. We got Dwight Howard versus... Dwight Howard. You, Dwight mean, Howard. you, you, you mean Joel Embiid. We fo- we, Joel Embiid we versus... We Joel Embiid right? versus Boogie Cousins. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> take that fan hat off, Ox. That's Ain't no fan hat. I, if take I just, that took, that, if I just took AD, what you think I'm going to do with DeMarcus? <laughs> who you taking? Uh, who you got, him, I got uh, Joel Embiid. Yeah. Okay. Mars. Boogie's the worst player we've said so far. So we go. MB. Boogie. Joel. What's Boogie? What, what what's Boogie doing? What's Bo- what's Boogie doing at his best better than Joel and B? He got about he got about handle than MB. On That's the offense, on the offensive end, mean, he got everything. He's better at drawing technicals. He got a bad handle. He got a bad handle when you could you could say he, he might be a bad passer, especially going downhill, Mars. Like you know. yeah, yeah, that that's it. Nah, nah. That's Scoring and beat yeah, clears defensively and beat clears. Right, better handle like, downhill. But I'll give it. I'll give Boogie the handle and who's the better rebounder? I'll get that to Boogie. I'm trying to get that to Boogie. Boogie was a glass cleaner. Yeah, Boogie was a glass cleaner. Yeah, I would I would argue against Boogie as a rebounder. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was a glass cleaner. Right. He was just so bad on defense. Oh my god! All right, y'all. Next up, we got Embiid versus Rasheed Wallace. Joel Embiid. Rasheed would be Rasheed. a super, Rasheed would be a super max player probably in the, today's game though. I mean, not super max, but he'll be like a, a he he he'd get paid for sure. He'd definitely be a max player. Definitely, he'd, he'd get paid for sure. <clears throat> Give me Embiid. Yeah, Ron, I'll take him beat. Big Ox. <laughs> take that fan hat off, Ox. Nah, he he has to say Rasheed Wallace. He has to. Come on now. I'm, yeah, talking, I'm taking to. Mr. 100 blocks, 100 threes. That's, See? Man, come on, man. He has Rasheed, to man. Come on. Give me Rasheed. Yeah, I'm going to take Embiid. All right. And I got to take Rasheed too because I'm on record. I'm on record saying that Rasheed I got Rasheed is better over than AD. Davis. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said you have to. Yeah, because yeah. I, like, I remember you said Rasheed is better than Anthony Davis. So. Taking Rasheed oh. over Anthony Davis. Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking it's wow for that one. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Joel Embiid versus Shaq. What? Huh? Magic Shaq. Magic Shaq. Any Shaq version? I, I was doing Peck. I, think, I thought I was doing Peck. Pe- yeah, Shaq. we that's, have to make an doing. exception for this one. We have to no, we not. Exception. No, we not. Ron. No exception. Ron. Magic, no, magic not, Shaq. Shaq. I want to talk. I want to talk about how how Shaq. dominant that would be. I would love to see that though. You know, that's one of the ones I would love to see. Shaq. <laughs> I would love Shaq. to see that. Shaq with an eight jelly bean lunch. Oh my god. <laughs> He would have ate that dude lunch. Oh my uh, god! Chill, yeah. He would have ate his lunch. Told him to go get seconds. <laughs> Man. He came back with the seconds. He would have ate that too. <laughs> Shaq would have ate that dude lunch. And we talking yeah. and, and we talking about Peak Shaq against Peak Joel and B. Shaq would have ate that dude lunch. I'm not hey, talking you. about Peak Shaq. I'm talking about Magic. No, we talk about Peak Shaq. Oh, we talking about. I mean, I'm talking about. Every, well, look, we talking about Peak Shaq like we talking about Peak everybody Shaq else. Shaq, Shaq sitting at the table with Joel like, Yo, Joel, we still hungry, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Go get, get another one, bro. We hungry. Yeah. Yo, Dumbo, who you got? Uh, give me. I'm gonna take Shaq. I can't. I can't not take Shaq. I was. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, Dumbo. You kind of got a like, like a little. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, where's that coming from? The total game on offense from Embiid. Like, obviously, he's more skilled than Shaq. But Shaq's just Shaq. Like, he's gonna get his bucket. He don't got to do it. He don't got to do multiple things to get the bucket. Yeah, and then the bias kicked in. Yeah, the bias what, kicked what, in. Late. 
you guys are doing a beat by Shaq? Is that a player? Yes. 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 Magic Shaq, Mars. Magic Shaq. No, he okay, said he, 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 Shaq he put it. He, we, we, we talked about all of these guys. Did, wait, did anyone team. not pick Shaq? Dama was hesitant. I had to say the four Shaq. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Shaq. It's Shaq. It's I also Shaq. had to say because I was looking. So this day four, I can go on and call Brooke Lopez Mr. 100 Blocks and 100 Threes, right? Like I can, I can sit up him, right? You yeah, but that was yes, difficult. Okay. That okay. was, okay. was, 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 was 20 look, years ago. Look, look, look. I was just asking. I was asking. I was going to do that. So now, I was so now, so now hey. I, wish, I wish Swiper was up here. I wish Swiper was up here now because now I have asking. to bring up the Draymond Green, Larry Bird thing again. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. Don't I'm, do that, I'm, not even, I'm not even throwing jabs at Rasheed. I'm just saying. So we can call that a body shot. That was a straight body shot to the rim. Mr. 100 blocks and 100 shots. That was a body shot to the rim. 100 blocks and the threes, but that was 20 years ago. Go. Yo, we, we got it. We got to keep it pushing. My man Ahmad is on a on a time restriction, so we got to get to that. We got Joel Embiid versus David Robinson. You doing Embiid right now, Ron? Ahmad, uh, Joel Embiid, Mars, David Robinson, Chill. David Robinson. Ox. The Admiral. Damo. Joel will be, man. We don't deny you. Get out of here. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it, Damo. Yeah. I mean, it's tough, though. I just like, I just like, Jeff. Versatility, versatility offensively. I do have that for you. <laughs> Y'all don't think it's close? I do think it's close. Yeah. I, I, think don't, it's I, don't, close. Think, I don't think Dave Robinson clears him, but I think he is better. I think I think he does. Wait, why, Mars? Um, well, I'm not. If I wanted to do the air attacks thing, I think it's close. But if I want to say how impactful David Robinson was in his era versus Embiid is in his era, I think David Robinson was just so much better defensively, in my opinion. That, that's where the separator is. Offensively, I think Embiid's probably better. But defensively, yeah. I think Dave Robinson is one of the one of the best ever. But if you want to do like player versus player, just put them in the same time frame. Time frame, who's the better player? I do think it would be close. But just what Dave Robinson was doing yeah. in his time, I think is what makes him better. Also, I think it's fair to say like a lot of this, a lot of the Joel, like comes from injury. I think I think if he wouldn't have so many injuries, I think this would be a little different. All right, y'all. We got two more names. Next up, you knew this name was going to come. We got Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic. Jokic. Who are you guys taking? Jokic. Jokic. Joker. I Jokic. In the league. I'm taking Embiid. Oh, no, no, no. Give me Jokic, actually. I'm sorry. These conversations expired two years ago. Yeah, it's it's real. So it's at so minimum it's, last year, Marge. Yeah, at minimum yeah. last year. Right. I, I I've been telling you, but I mean, yeah, it took it took guys a while. It took guys a while. I can it, 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 it ended last year for me. It was over. Yeah, and not just because they won the NBA championship, but it ended Wait. last year for me. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, we got Joel Embiid versus. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I was waiting for Kareem, man. I was waiting for Kareem. Yeah. I was waiting for Kareem. Talk to me, Amai. Kareem. Um, yesterday, I was just pushing the Jokic over Kareem agenda. But um, give me give me, give me, me Kareem. Same reason as David Robinson, relative to the time, blah, blah, blah. It's Jabbar. Kareem. Much better glass cleaner, much better defender. Uh, one of the better passing big man. I think he had three or four seasons where he averaged five assists. Jabal doesn't get nearly enough credit for the distributor that he was. When he retired, I think he was one of uh, I think he was one of the two. Yeah, I think he was one of the two centers that that had multiple seasons of averaging five assists. It was this, I think it was him and Chamberlain. That was it. They averaged five assists a game. So yeah, I'll take I'll, I'll take uh, Jabal over Joel Embiid. And it translated to the playoffs too. I'm sure Bill Russell's done that, but mm -hmm. right too. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bill Russell did it too. Yes, he did. Um, if you know I'm done with the '90s, you don't want to know how I feel about the <laughs> '80s and the '70s. Give me a beat. 
All right, there we have it. That's the end of the gauntlet. Y'all, y'all heard it. Y'all heard who we chose. That's that. AD would have low key ran that gauntlet. Hmm. All I'm gonna say is that Kareem should thank Magic Johnson. <laughs> Hey, we got a we we got a lot of guys who can can thank a lot of guys for he 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 especially and, and, think Magic and and because it's not like well he should think Mag he, Magic showed up Magic showed up in a time where Jabal was on the other side of who he the other side of who he was and he still got he still got that he was still on the fence about you know where he was as a great player because he only won with 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 Oscar Robinson almost ten years ago so. Yeah. When Magic shows up with a crew that's basically tailor made for Magic, so when Magic shows up, now that just helps Jabal still get to where he's trying to go. So, I mean, no, no, no question about that. But I can say the same thing about Magic. As good as as much as Magic needed Jabal, I mean, as much as Jabal needed Magic, Magic needed Jabal too. Now nah, we got to take away that rings that we do with KD. I mean, it goes both ways, though. Magic. You know, Magic got to, they got to thank each other. Just like you mm -hmm. were saying, there's a lot of people got to thank each other. So that's a fair, I mean, that's a fair statement you made. It's true, but it don't really, I don't know what as far as that go. So what's up with that top 10, Ron? We're going to get the top 10 from my man of mine? Not today. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Can, can we at least get your top, top, that's, that's 10, a top five, 10 current players? Top five current players right now. I'll in, grow in with. today's game. Today's guy, I roll with Giannis. I roll with Nicole. Giannis, Jokic. number one. No, no, I'm just. Are oh, you want to order? Yeah, yes. yeah. If, if you got one, uh, Nicole Jokic, number one. I'll roll with Giannis, number two. I'll roll with Kevin Durant, number three. Stephen Curry, number four. And Mars pulled me over. I'll roll with Luka Doncic, number five. Yeah, there we go, man. Yeah, Mars Mars convinced him. Mars convinced him. Yeah. Mars convinced him. Yeah. It's hard because yeah. I'm, I'm from St. Louis, but it's just like Mars are making some good points. Yeah. Mars convinced him. Get, get Luka in that top five, man. No top five is right without Luka. <clears throat> I respect that. I respect that. There we go. Get Luka in there. All right. Cool, cool. You you sticking around, Ahmad? Or you got I'm out, y'all. Thanks. All good to meet you, brother. Coming through. Absolutely, man. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Pass that too, Damo. I, I, I meant to ask you before you when you showed up. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't. You know I will. That. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We got super chats. Y'all know we got super chats. So let's go ahead and make it happen. Yep. D three said, "Chill." Would you say the 2023 Heat are the best example of quote unquote the next man up logic? No, because a lot of those dudes that was on the crew was on the crew in 2022. A lot of those dudes that was on the crew was in on the crew in 2021 and in 2020 when they was in the bubble. So it's not like they kind of like threw together a band of guys and some guys went down and all of a sudden now these guys are 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 just out of nowhere. No, Caleb Martin been on the crew since 2020. Um, Max Cruz had been on the crew since 2020. So I mean, th these guys have been around for a while. So I, I, the, the next man up logic, the next man up logic, a lot of times sounds like, you know, you're just getting a guy from out of nowhere. Now, when you're building a unit like that, which is what Miami did, I mean, it's not necessarily a next man up, but these guys are were groomed together. V. Rose said Mbappe cooked Barca last time they played, and he'll do it again. And pay attention to Real Madrid and my boy Vinny Jr. You should get into soccer, chill. I was in the soccer. My daughter played soccer um, in high school, in grammar school and in high school, and I didn't know anything about it. One of the main problems that people have with, with athletes is they think that we know about every sport. I didn't know anything about soccer when my daughter got into it. So I'm sitting in front of the TV like a goofy watching the damn World Cup trying to figure out what the hell this is. So I was in. I was into it when my daughter played soccer. There goes a said. Rudy only played 56 games in 2018, while AD played 75 games. Anthony Davis should have won DPOY in 2018. He should have won it last year, too, actually. Alan L. said, we still haven't won anything. Stop overrating my guy Tatum. You guys just set him up for constant slander. Wait a minute. How we how we setting him up for constant slander? Nobody said he's the best player in the league. Ain't nobody saying that. They're a damn good team, and one of the main reasons why they're a damn good team is because of him. You don't have to win for that to for, to, to to be a to be a great player. Not everybody has won the NBA championship, and it's a bunch of great players. Hunter said James Harden choked time and time again. 
which is something Luca hasn't done. Just wait, Mars. Wait, wait, wait till we see that postseason. Wait, wait till we see that postseason run where Luca isn't really good in the postseason. It's gonna happen. When that happens, the narrative on Luca is gonna change. What years did James Harden choke other than 2017 against the Spurs? What about 2019, Mars? How did he choke? He played great in that game six. They just lost the game. Like, I can't say he chokes because they lost the game. Like Steph Curry played terribly in the first half, sure. And they were already losing the series. They were down 3-2 anyway. They were but, down 3-2 um, in that series. So James Harden, I mean, Steph Curry plays terribly in the first half, and then Steph Curry comes out and becomes a free-throw merchant in the second half. And um, and the Rockets lose the game. But James Harden played well in that game. And I'm pretty sure James Harden um, got poked in the eye by Draymond Green in that series, and you can barely see. And he still played great in that game. And I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what more you want. I'm pretty sure he led the game in scoring, if I remember correctly. So... How's that him choking more so than he just lost the game? How about last year? Oh, past his prime, James Harden? I'll give you 1,000%. Okay. But I'm about James Harden when he was in his prime, that's the play we were talking about? Other than 17, what year did he choke? 20, 2015, 2015, James when Harden. When they were already down 3-1 and he had like the 11 turnovers in game five, that game? Not a one before that. That's 2014? Okay. Against Dame? No, no, no. Not, not against Dame. Even though they lost that series. yeah. yeah. But 2015 was the year they were they lost the they lost the conference finals in five games and James Harden yep. had that game five where he had like 11 turnovers. Um, they were down three one in the series already, and the game before James Harden just had 45, and that was the only game they won in the series. How's that? Yeah, 45. I do I do remember that. Yeah, so how, that's I, I not choking. That. They, they were just the worse team than the Warriors, like substantially. Worse. They were down three. James Harden kept them alive in game four. Yeah, they just weren't as good. And then game five, out sure James Harden played badly in game five. No argument, but it's not like right. they had a chance of winning. Is that choking? Just because you lost to a team that was what about 2016, Mars? That was the year they were the eight seed and lost to the Warriors. Yep. Do you think he chokes? Because the, the Rockets just weren't good. They were no, I don't. Warriors. I don't think that. I don't think that. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just going over this. How about 2017? We are. We already saw 2017. The Spurs, 1,000. Yes, yes. I'll give you that. 2018. I don't see how you can say. I don't see how you can say he choked in 2018. Because that game seven, once again, that game seven, James Harden played well in that game, and not to mention the fact that. He got fouled on like four, six threes, and they just didn't call it. Mars, are we like, talking? Oh, that's not joking. Oh, wait a minute, Mars. Are we talking about just one game? Because that that was a seven game series. Do you remember the? Yeah, and James and James Harden played. And James Harden played. You remember the over six performance series? Yeah, and James Harden played over six performance and the over eleven performance. Are we really? Are we really doing that? Yeah, and James Harden and the three and the three games they won, James Harden was clearly their best player. And 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 the three games that they lost, the four games that they lost, at least three of them, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't the best player for the Rockets in those games, if I remember correctly. But he still played well over the course of that series, especially when you look at how well, he, he had was an 0 for six defended. and an 0 for eleven game. No, he didn't. Yeah, and that, and that's part and that's part of the product of having a large shot night of three pointers. Are we going to say Steph Curry chokes because he has games? Steph Curry has never points. had an 0 for six and an 0 for eleven game. He never did that. But we do talk about Steph Curry choking. I don't ever remember. I don't, Steph, I don't know. Steph hasn't had, Steph hasn't had multiple games where he shoots zero for something from three in the in the playoff series. Never. That's never that. happened. I like but Steph Curry. Steph Curry has had multiple games in a playoff series where he shoots poorly. Right. Multiple games. There's a difference between shooting poorly and giving them nothing, which well, is a nothing huge from part the of their offense. Right. Nothing which is a huge part of Houston's right. offense. That yeah, but he still scored. He still scored. He scored in other ways. He found other ways to be effective, as one would say. So, is that choking? I think that he choked in, in, in 19, but that's just me. Yeah, okay. All right, y'all. Remember, we are on playback today at 7.15 Eastern time. Mm -hmm. The Orlando Magic are playing the Toronto Raptors. We unfortunately don't get fluent. We don't get Jalen, but we get the next best thing, Dub and Bama. Y'all go ahead and pull up to that. Support playback. Go to playback.tv. Join the Player's Choice room and tune in tonight. Also, shout out to everybody that's liked the video. Y'all go ahead and slap that like button if you haven't. Shout out to all of our new members and all of our subscribers. PlayersChoiceMerch.com. Log in. Check it out if you haven't. Um, we got another super chat from Almighty Lamborghini. He said, who would y'all take between Ewing and Embiid? Of all renowned fives in the 90s era, Ewing is one of is the one I'm probably the most down on personally. I've never thought he was as great as people made him seem. That's because all of the other five men were better. He wasn't better than David Robinson. 
he wasn't better than Lajuan, and he wasn't better than Shaq. So of course you're gonna look at him like that. And he was the only big during that era who didn't win. That's the only part. But he still was awesome during that time, being an all-league defender, being an all-NBA performer. He just wasn't as good as the rest of those dudes. That doesn't mean that he wasn't awesome. He had a really good mid-range game, really good around the basket, had a money 15 foot, had a money 15 foot shot. He didn't shoot the three. I mean, he, he actually shot the three when they moved the three-point line in, which I was about ready to throw up when I saw him when I when I saw him doing that. So not so much. But Ewing was a really good transition player. He was elite on defense. He could have been a better rebounder than what he was, but he was an elite rebounder for that time. But Ewing was Ewing was fantastic. And if I had to choose between the two of them, I would go with Embiid. Everybody else, I'll use, I'll use the I'll use the health tax and say Ewing. It's easy. I could just say Embiid's not healthy. There you go. It's easy to pick Ewing in that regard. I'm going to go with Embiid. I'm done with the 90s. And, and why is that? Why is that, Damo? Because we done with the 90s. Come on, man. <laughs> My God. Big Ops? You. All right. Brax with the super chat. He said, Goofy number four reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. Number four? Oh, tough. Brax, so you're running yourself group. as Goofy number four is ridiculous. Bro. Who's that's, Goofy that's number that's one, two, and three? Problem. Well, number one is Buddy for sure. Is, wait, 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 Duke. chill. Is Buddy oh. Goofy number one? Yes. Duke, okay. you uh, Duke, you said Ewing was a choke artist. So I want to make sure I'm clear. Okay, so they beat the Celtics in the '90s. The Celtics was over. They lost to the Bulls in '91. They lost to the Bulls again in '92. Those two teams was better than them. They lost to the Bulls again in '93. That team was better than them. They lost to the Rockets in Game Seven. Lajuan was better than him. In '95, he misses the layup against indiana with a bad with a bad heel in 96 they lose to the bulls again in 97 they lose to the bulls again like who did he choke against can we keep the same energy for james harden it's the same thing he just lost the teams and players that were better than him he's not as good as steph or KD or the warriors like, hey same energy imagine, yeah james harden you imagine him, losing to the bulls six times in one decade all right yeah, I would so, hate my yeah. Tank Jones has dropped the official Goofy rankings. For those who don't know, if you're new to the show and you don't know what's going on with the Goofy rankings and all of that, I'm not going to break down what classify you as classifies you as a Goofy. You could just use your imagination. But that, that, this is that, the Goofy rankings. That, that, that uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I can give it that. Yeah, I can right. definitely give it that. All right, no problem. So you can get with that have, logic. Tank I don't Jones. have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that list. Not at Wait, all. Wait, is Lambo at five or is Luncho at five? Definitely take Lambo off there and put uh, Luncho on there. Yes. But but Lambo cracks the top ten. <laughs> he might. I'm not sure. Lambo <laughs> might be in the good graces now. Lambo might be. No. Ever since the, ever since Lambo... the bell got paid. Ever since the bell got paid. <laughs> Shout out Lambo. Acting like he got some sense. Actually sending in logical super mm -hmm. chats and all of that good stuff. Yeah, you, you've improved. I'm proud of you, Lambo. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, James Jackson said... How do we get back to the branding of the 90s? Example, logos, jerseys, apparel. Things now seem bland and uninspired. They didn't have the, the, no more, bro. They didn't have that stuff like the 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 what is that called, Damo? When you to, to, to see on, on the jerseys today? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on that. The sponsorships? That's what I'm talking about. Like, they didn't have that going on in the 90s. That, that wasn't that wasn't going on in the 90s. I think that's dope. Um I mean, the uniforms today, I think those are dope. I'm good on the shoe. I'm I'm good on a lot of the shoe games. I think the I think the shoes in the '90s was way dope. Chris Webbers and Jordans and uh, Barclays. I think those are way dope back then than today. That's I just, think they just need to go back to the finals courts, like well, you know, it's just like NBA finals, like in the middle of the court like that. Uh, they don't do that no more, do they, Mars? I forgot about that. That's what I want them to bring back. That that was nice. Like that's a big deal. Yeah. That's all, that's all I wanted to bring back. I care less about everything else. I just wanted to bring that back. Yeah. But, but, Chilton, hold on real quick. Can I, I want to get some off my chest. I'm thinking about it now. Of those times that the the Knicks lost to the Bulls, how, how many of those were conference? Like, were, were okay, they? So they, lost, so they lost to the Bulls in 91. That was in the first round. Okay. And the Bulls were basically who they were. In 92, they lost to them in the semifinals in game seven. And okay. uh, Jordan went 42 and seven. Scotty Pippen had a triple double in that game. And you went, I, 
I think Ewan went off in that game. In 93, they were actually the favorites to beat the Bulls that year. They were the favorites to beat the Bulls that year, and they lost in six. They were up 2-0 in the series. Now that I think about it, Ewan might have choked. They were up 2-0 in the series. Now that, think, now that I think about it, Mars, they were up 2-0 in the series, and they ended up losing four straight to the Bulls. The Bulls ended up sweeping them. So then, now that I'm thinking about it, he might have choked. He might have, he might be a choke artist. Now that I'm thinking well, about it, just one, like, one well, choke, no man. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because <laughs> now that I think about it, so, just so you know, Bob, they were up three two against the Rockets in the series, uh -huh. and they lose that series. And they too. lost. They lost in seven. Yeah, they're yeah. up three two against the Rockets, and they should have won that series. And that was when the format was was uh was was two three two. Two three two. And okay. they should have won that series. Ninety five. I understand that he was hurt. He had an Achilles injury and in that Indiana team. I mean, they choked. They had that, they had that, that, I think they had game four. Was it game four? Yeah, they had game four one. And Anthony Mason, I mean, Reggie Miller scored eight points in 10 seconds. So yeah. they, 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 they choked. That wasn't Ewan's fault. Then in 96, I mean, they end up losing. Was it 90? No, they didn't play them in 96. I take that back. They played them in 97 in the semifinals and they end up losing in five games. And the Bulls were just better. The yeah. Bulls won 69 games that year. And then in 98, uh, they lose to Indiana to go to the conference championship game. And in, in 99, he ends up partially tearing his Achilles so he couldn't play in the playoffs. So right, right. he wasn't really a choke artist more than – he might have choked once or twice. Yeah, I was I was really that asking that. That, that might have happened now that I'm thinking about it, Mars. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> asking that because I'm wondering, Chilton, how many of those, how many of those championships – like. Of, of the teams in the West, how many of those teams could the Knicks have beat if 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 uh, the Bulls just weren't in there? They would have beat Phoenix. I think they would have beat Phoenix. Yes. I think they would have beat Phoenix. I don't think they would have beat Portland. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think they would have beat the Lakers in 91. They're not beating Seattle in 90 – and not Seattle, I'm sorry. They're not beating Utah in 97. No, you had it right. So you, think they, beat, they, you think they beat Seattle in 96? No, I don't think that they beat Seattle in 96. No, I think right. Seattle was better right. than them. Mm -hmm. I don't think they beat Seattle. Uh, obviously, Houston and um, they definitely don't beat Houston again in '95. Mm -hmm. When they, if they if they saw Houston again, no, I don't think they would have beat them. Sounds like it was just a decade of torment for Knicks fans. Poor New York. I mean, see, it was a big headline, and it was a it was a huge headline in the in the New York Post when they lost to the Bulls for the third time in a row that the Knicks could just look good losing. Hey, at least I had the Yankees. You know. Well, they didn't become. They didn't. I'm a Mets fan, so I I don't enjoy anything in baseball better than watching the Yankees lose. So, and then and then like, going to the finals in '94 and '99. Wait, are you a amazing. Mets fan, but you like Jeter? Because I can I can I can respect being a, I can respect the guy on another team, but still watch another team. And I, like I said, I'm not a Yankees fan. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a Yankee hater. But Derek Jeter was he was impressive. He was incredible. Incredible. All right, all right. Mr. Burnout said, did y'all know about Magic playing in Sweden during the 1999-2000 season? Did y'all see can, this? Can we put some context on that, please? Okay, number one, he owned the team. Let's start there, mm -hmm. okay? So let, let's start with he owned the team, and let's take it a step further. With He only played five games. It wasn't like he was on the crew the whole season. <laughs> right? He only played five games. That was it. That, that, that's, all, that's all that was. So, Did, did y'all see the highlights from this? Yeah, I fat, fat magic was dope. <laughs> and he had uh it was one they said one game he had 30, and they said it was another game where he had like 11 assists in two minutes or something like that. We yeah, done with the 90s. What, what the hell? Said, this was 2000. <laughs> nah, 99, 2000. That's still just kind of, that just still shout, makes the cut. We done shout out to the end magic. of the season, more it was the end of the season, so it's 2000 for sure. We done, we done with the early 2000s. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for that to happen. I can't wait. And I'm, 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 I'm hoping, never be done with the 2000s. I'm hoping that I'm still alive because I'm, I'm I'm gonna make sure I'm I'm on Damo porch because he gonna have a weird he, he gonna have a rocking chair for me because when I hear this conversation I'm gonna be sitting right next to him when his nephew when his daughter is telling him yo why this dude Steph Curry why is he why is he so sought after like the dude he could be he only made free throws or he only made three pointers and he was playing against SoundCloud rappers. I'm 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 sitting right next to Damo, <laughs> sitting right next to Damo. We gotta listen to his daughter say that because I'm gonna be like this. Podcast I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the main one pushing that agenda. 
Yeah. Yo, Mars is nasty. This, this, this <laughs> I'm going to be yeah, with I'm that too. I'm done with the 2010s. Yeah, I'm, 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 done, I'm done with the 2020s for sure, but we'll never be done with the 2000s, though. Like, I'll, I'll never accept that from nobody. Uh, no 20 kid. years from now, someone's still trying to tell me Ray Allen, the second best year ever. I'm slapping them. What, hey, Mars? What? Mars, you don't got to wait to do You don't got to wait 20 years from now. Just do it now. What? You see, we get two coming soon. Man, I ain't no way you trying to. Mm, Ray Allen yeah. can really shoot, man. Shout out. Damn. Yeah. Swiper going to be pummeling you and Mars slapping you. Tough out here. He's really good on that. <laughs> Locked in said, uh, what would a prime Paul Pierce be in the 90s? Paul Pierce? I don't know, but we'd be done with him. I might say, I might one will be done with him too. I think he'd just be Paul Pierce. Uh -huh. It'll be Paulie. Like, yeah. Paul Pierce. Yeah. Paul, how was how was uh, young Paul Pierce? He was 96, oh. right? Or was 90, he 90, Oh, you mean when he when he was drafted? Yeah. 98? 98, 98 he yeah, showed 98. up. Mm -hmm. He showed up. That was during the lockout season. Poopis was a Poopis was a cool little player. He used to be a free throw merchant, but I wouldn't know. Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> Chill, you talking about mm -hmm. agreeing with Morris? I'm tired of y'all. I'm, I'm tired. Wait, I'm wait, tired. Poopis, I'm tired. Poopis, 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 I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just acknowledging it. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I, okay, okay. I, I hear you. I'm, I'm what did I say? I'm, I'm, I'm on edge right oh, now. My bad. No, yeah, my bad. Uh, no, I'm not agreeing what with it. What did I do? This is nice. I said it was nice. What did I do? Uh, no, whatever. Hey, you got it. Okay. Whatever. Cultured Saunders said DJ Augustine over MJ. We done with the night. I can't wait till we're done with the 2020s because I've seen like 17 plays last night. That are going to be used to say we're done with the 2020s. Eugene Omarigi. Oh, we done with him. Oh my god. Yeah. He... Exactly. That's what it's going to be 10 years from now. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. No matter ever two layups in one possession. We done with the 2020s. <laughs> yeah, that was That's crazy, what... Mars. He cooked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We, when I was on playback a couple days ago watching the rap, it was the Raptors versus was it Raptors versus Pistons. That game was. Yo, the Raptors bench. I'm like, yo, I thought I was tapped in for real. I thought I knew stuff. I'm like, yo, who are these, who are these people on the court? The only person I knew was Jordan War. And Jordan War, I, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't never seen him have that much time of possession ever in his career. Oh, yeah, he be he running was, the unit. Yeah, he be yes, running he the is unit. the That's sixth crazy. man in, in Toronto. Them other dudes, no clue who they were. Toronto had MPJ's brother on the team. Yeah, John Say Porter, he was there. Yeah, he, he yeah was I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that until the other day. I didn't know yeah, that. What's he, his name? Um, like I didn't know Alexander Saar has an older brother in the league. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So, 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 get, so, so on the Thunder, <laughs> Oliver Saar. Oh, that's his brother. That's his brother. Yes, and I didn't know it until like this week. And then when you look at him, you're like. That nigga do look just like him. They, they look just I, like him. I, 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 I know he on a two way though. I know he was. Um, I know he was. I think he's. Yeah. Brother. Oh. So get so that's get Jalen McDaniels off the floor. That's what, that's what you saying. That's what you saying. Down oh, the, 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 the Toronto one. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even realize Jalen. No, that's, that's Jalen, Jalen. Not not Jaden. It's Jalen. 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 I didn't even realize he was there. I'm like, yo, is that? Yeah. I'm seeing McDaniels. I'm like, oh, that is the brother. I forgot. He was in the league. I know Garrett Temple's on that Toronto bench. I don't think he gets in, but I know he's Garrett is. Temple. He, yeah, he, he's in the league. Yeah, he's still in the league. Yes, he is. Veteran on, presence. Bro. Yeah, veteran <laughs> presence. Jamaica's Rod's Clot choice said, I do have dreads, Bob, FYI, but I still love you, though. If Serge wasn't injured in 2014 playoffs versus the Spurs, would the Spurs be the camps? Or the champs. Hmm? Is he is he is yes. he basically asking would yes. the Thunder beat the Spurs if um Serge was there? Is that what he's asking? Yep, yep. No. The Spurs still win. They was rolling, yo. That year, yeah, they was rolling. Nobody was beating them. Are we ever gonna talk about how dope Jeff Green was about to be before the heart surgery? Yeah, 37 last night, didn't he? Jeff Green? 
Jeff Green? What? No, no, yeah. that's oh, Jalen Green. Green. That's oh, Jalen oh, Green. Oh, 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 man. Look at him. Jeff Green has 37. What? Jeff Green actually Jeff Green actually played terribly last night. Yeah. But like um Jalen Green had 37 last night. My yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. I, I read no, that wrong. No, I was like, did Jeff Green have 37 last night? What am I? Am I tripping? Can we talk about how the side to show the Jeff Green? Uh, Should have how, how dope Jeff that. Green was in Georgetown. How dope he was when him and K, KD was in um in Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. All right, y'all. That concludes my super chats. Uh, I don't have nothing else. Um, do you guys have anything else that you want to talk about? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It's it is another lie. super okay. chat. I forgot. I forgot. James C sent through a super chat and said, "Ron, you see the contradiction." This dude's a Mets fan and says he's the president of the Griffey Jr. fan club, but he says Jeter is the GOAT. L logic. So you, you you can't have so you can't be a Warriors fan and dig another great player in the NBA, but then think that another dude is the GOAT. You can't do that. Nah. That, even Steph Curry the GOAT, well, he know. All right, come on. Really? Okay. You can't do that? I'm I'm pretty sure you can do that. Because I'm pretty sure that there's people that I know who've done that. So yeah. And I did it. So there you go. Yeah, but you wrong for that. No, I'm not. Oh, Tiny the goat. He might be. Yeah, he might be the goat. He when, a case. When, when his career is over, he might be the goat. So yeah, he got to do hey, so real? much. So much winning though. I feel like he got to get not so much winning. He got to do some winning though. He can't just Damo. right <laughs> at some point. Like you, know you can't just be nice. <laughs> I know. First of all, first of all, I know where he's at, and I know how stacked what? they look. But at the end of the day, health is a key thing. They gotta right. stay healthy and baseball, man. You can be as talented as you yeah, want. Yeah, nah, you right. That you right. matter. Hey, then, uh, then, then, then Mike Trout, Mike, Mike Trout say. proved that. Mike Trout proved that. Like you could be yeah, as last awesome year. As Nobody care about this, what's going on in South Point. The worst series. The worst series last year. Yeah. It wasn't what you call it. The teams that end up making it to the World Series, they were not the teams that were super stacked with the, yeah. uh, depth from paid players. It was homegrown talent through yeah. the development system. Maybe a good signing here, here, a good trade here. Guys showed out, showed up, overachieved. Those are guys that end up winning. Baseball is completely different from football. And basketball. No, it is. Because baseball, you can awesome. be talented and get your ass kicked. Facts. No, no doubt about it. Facts. But, but he's gonna. How, how long is this contract? Like the next ten years. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's there for a minute. Seven hundred million. He's, he's gonna get like he's gonna for sure get two. Which is a dope. Which is the, it's dope the way he put it together. Like he's 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 taking like two million dollars, and the, the the deal is on the back end. That's where he's gonna get the money at. Which is dope. I like I like putting some of it on the back end. I just can't put that much on the back end. I need. That's mm-hmm. for winning though. That's for them to be able to go and sign other players yeah, in this upcoming that's what year. That's about. Because you don't mm-hmm. want to put yourself in a position where they sign you to this record breaking contract, and now you don't got no help. That was the issue with the Angels. He had no help. With the no, couldn't get no, it. I, I, I understand right. it. I understand it. But still, my thing is, ten years is a long time. I don't know what's going to happen in these next ten years. By the time I get that <laughs> money, I might not even be able to spend it. You never know what's going to be going on in the world. So give me yeah. some money, man. I'm sorry. In fact, I won't fight that. I won't argue that. Uh, Necro X said, "Mars thoughts on the UCL draw for Arsenal." I think this is a basketball show, so you guys need to stop asking me about the downfall of my team. <laughs> <laughs> Got an officially stop asking Mars. me why we you suck. What you done did. Get off my case about why we suck. I don't want to hear that no more. <laughs> Sir Cole said OKC whistle is crazy. Does it extend to playoffs? That's the million dollar question. And does the game extend to the playoffs? Does does I think I, I think SGA's game extends to the playoffs? But I just gotta see it. That's all. What about uh, what's his name? His One more time, boss. J Dub. Yeah, how does J Dub look in the playoffs? I think Good. that's more of a question to SGA. Why? I mean, <laughs> SGA has proven he's a consistent thirty, and even if even if he drops to twenty six a night, I'm still expecting SGA to perform. They need J Dub more than they need. They need J Dub to play at his level more than they need SGA to, you know. Rise above thirty-one, but why do you not think? Why do you think it's questionable that he will? I don't know if it's questionable. I'm asking. I'm the oh, only reason why I would say it's questionable is I would say just because he's young, yeah, just younger, a little inexperienced. Uh, as yeah, he's felt the playoffs before, you know. So mm-hmm. maybe not as the number one, but he's he's been in the atmosphere before at least. So maybe that might. Was it really the atmosphere in the bubble? Uh, was, there really, was there really atmosphere? 
the importance. The, I understand mm -hmm. what you mean, but the importance of it though, it's, it's still the ex experience. But yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I, I think, hey, I, think you know. I think, I think, I think they'll be fine. I, th I think they'll be fine. I don't think the mood <clears> is going to be too big for them. I think now, I think it's going to come down to coaching and adjustments and how you deal with teams leaving number three wide open. And they've actually done a good job of him cutting to the rim, and he's made some pretty solid passes. But still, I do think there's going to be a cap on how long you can play him for. But I think that's probably what they got Gordon Hayward in for. So I, I think, I think they'll be all right. Now, does that mean I think they're going to win? Eh, maybe not, because I still think they're kind of flawed. But I do think I don't think there's going to be a problem where Shea's just going to fall off a cliff or J-Dub's going to fall off a cliff. I think they'll play fine. I just think they might run into a team that's better than them. Which I was going to ask because I was watching. I've, I've been watching Josh Giddy over the last couple of games, and he's actually been. I think he's something like fifty-five or sixty percent from the floor. Now the problem is, is when you get into the playoffs and they start to shrink the defense and make him shoot the three ball more because he gets to the rim, Mars. He could get to the rim. He could get in the mid post. He could get in the mid range. He can pass with the best of them, which is kind of crazy because if he could shoot the ball at a respectable rate, I think that they would make a lot more noise. The problem is that he's left wide open at the long ball line and he'll attack. But with him attacking, the defense is shrunk, which means that we could key in on other guys. Why so can't that's going to be a problem. Why can't why, he shoot? Yeah, why can't he shoot? What's up with his jump shot? That's oh, you got to play Australia. You ain't seen them Australian basketball courts they grow up playing on? That's why none of them niggas shoot. I'm not even joking. Like, I, you would think I play Patty Mills? What are we talking about right I'm, now? I'm, 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 I've seen a lot of these bass, these outdoor courts they got in Australia. Them shits are not milk to build shooters. Well, nah, they, they, I mean, Australia, like, they got, they got it just like us. They, they got outside courts, but their indoor facilities are, are top notch. You know what I'm saying? It's, they got it going, they got it going down down there. I, I played down there. You know what I'm saying? They, it's, I feel you. Uh, yeah, they shit. They, I, they, they I got big ass deal. arenas. Yeah, they, yeah I mean, they, not, they, not, they. not only that, but I'm talking about because it's not that NBL is not that many teams. It's a really small league, mm. but they got other like they, you know, they grow up playing indoors in the in the whole. You know, they got the whole uh, just like they do in Europe. It's Wazoo, yeah. I just think he just can't shoot, but he's working on it. Chad, look up them courts and tell me. Atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them hoes be atrocious. I'm just saying. Look them up. Look them up. I'm not. I'm not taking nothing away from what I said. I'm just spitting. I just, I'm just spitting. Them indoor courts, fire. Go Some of them outdoor courts. No, we. It, it's Go no it. surprise. Josh Giddy and Ben Simmons shots look the way they do. I'm not gonna lie to you. Kyrie was born in Australia, but he wasn't raised in Australia. Kyrie Mills was raised in Australia. He's a goat. Joe Ingles <laughs> is raised in Australia. <laughs> He's another goat. Dante Exum. Hey, it was a reason he, he had to go over, go back overseas and get he, it together. He had to go to Europe to figure out. Is there any other Australian guys you could shoot? Because Boga. Della Bedova? I'm gonna say you want to say Delhi? Delhi, Delhi for sure. Hey, he's a goat. Luke Longley? No, I mean, Luke Longley actually could knock down though. He, he could knock down. We down. done with the nice man. We. I didn't even know Luke Longley was Australian. Oh lord. Oh, you just thought he was American? I just thought he was a white dude. Yeah. <laughs> he is a white. He, he is a white dude from Australia. Yeah, he <laughs> trash. It doesn't matter where he from. He trash. I said he trash. <laughs> oh man, call it little yep. doggy trash. Trash. Super chat from Styles Blackman. He said, "Y'all gotta do the panel live with an audience for the next PC weekend." Also, what's y'all opinion on franchise Stevie franchise? And Mobley as a duo, they were so much fun. To watch. Oh, Katina and Mobley. Oh, okay. Yeah. What y'all like, Katina? Cutting no, ball. no, he, he, he not. I have a, I have an affinity for lefty <laughs> players, so I got, I got, I got a little bias towards, towards lefties. Um, I prefer Nick Franchise, Franchise. but I, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a Steve Francis guy. No, yeah, I like Steve, yeah. Steve Francis. My pops like Steve Francis, Francis, uh, Francis a lot. Yeah. Give me stuff. Maybe pay attention to him. Yeah, give me stuff. Man, Steph on Marbury, man, he sold my man. I don't get, I, I, don't, got no, <laughs> I don't got no. <laughs> I don't care how dope you are. How, how, how big Ox feel about Marbury? That's how I feel about KD going to the Warriors. That's how I feel. <laughs> I don't yes. feel that strongly about it. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, nah, yeah, he did my man dirty. I can't believe that. Talking about his cold. Even though Minnesota cold different from New York cold. Yeah, if it's cold, I, I it's cold. What do you want him to do? I, I, it's cold. I, I understand that, but you're talking yeah. about it's cold. You too, yeah, you too rich to be cold. Stop all that shit, man. Get you a Mickey, take your exactly. He's too rich after <laughs> suffering the cold. So let him go somewhere where it's slightly less cold. Right? Yeah. Shit, fuck Yo, 
shout out franchise. Once again, shout out franchise. Also, shout out the cat, Katino Mobley. Katino was cold for real. Mm-hmm. Katino gets he, he he don't get the recognition he deserves because because Katino was all right for real. He was cut. Katino Mobley was cut in that same cloth like Michael Red. Like he wasn't as nice as Michael Red, but that kind of player where you know he could create his own shot, he could shoot the long ball, really good athlete, get downhill with the best of them. Um, I'm trying to think about a guy in today's game. Like think D'Angelo Russell, except a better app. Af- no, I'm not he D'Angelo. quicker than D. He, he, he played and he all. played more in the mid range too. Yeah, he did. Tino was mm-hmm. dope. Yeah, just right. wait till we done with the two thousands. We are gonna be done with Katina right this <laughs> For real, also, yeah. yeah. Also, we'll shout out Barry Davis. Okay. Shout out B Diddy. He 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 doesn't oh, get his yeah, name brought yeah. up as much as possible too. Mm-hmm. And B Diddy was him for real. Now that 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 Dallas series is historic for sure. Like that that run him. He's he's etched in history. Just yeah, I'm talking about even more than he did, though. you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about that. Yeah, but I'm saying he his name is going to be remembered just on the strength of that. Like Katina Mobley, yeah. not as much, but Brian Davis, yeah. He, he yeah, I, I, I love that era. Like we talk a lot about Ja being a small guy that can go go and throw it over the top of you. Baron Davis, Steve Francis, Allen Iverson. It was it was a bunch of small cats that would cross you over and go in and really just punch on you. And mm-hmm. you know, Baron Davis was the leader of that whole you know forefront with small guards that was just electric. Don't like worry, that. ten years from now, it's just going to be the era of a bunch of small shot chucking guards. We be <laughs> done with the two thousands. Don't worry. That's and when you is. say small, yeah. Mars, you're talking like six five. That's what's going. That, yeah, that's going to yeah, be small. Man, six on, five, six six. Well, uh, we got Tyrese Halliburton running around. Luka Doncic. You telling me these little six one guards? I mean, we done with the two thousands. Trash. <laughs> yeah. y'all, y'all know what B Diddy would have did to Tyrese Halliburton. Oh man, leave Tyrese out of this. Yeah. I ain't leaving what Tyrese. Was, what, what was Byron Davis' field goal percentage? We done with the two thousand. Care what it was, he would have had Tyrese Halliburton sitting. Can't there. wait twenty years from now. It's gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god. Kwabe said Jokic averaged thirty and fourteen on Bam in the finals. By the way, swipe. How do you average rebounds on someone? <laughs> Something. <laughs> well, okay. Cameron Mills said, "Can we talk about J Dub being over Tyrese Maxey?" I don't know. Can we talk about that? Hmm. So uh, Doug, uh, uh, Doug's been pushing the J Dub over Jalen Brown agenda, which means if he's over Jalen Brown, he's over Tyrese Maxey by default. And if he's well, over Jalen Brown, and, and if, if he's if, he, if he's over if J Dub is over Jalen Brown, and yeah, if he's over Jalen Brown, that means and he's shades over Jason Tate and shades over Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's really bad at Boston for right. <laughs> and, and on top of that, he's a top twenty player in year two. In year two, he's a top twenty player. He is cold. Oh, I ain't saying that he. Ain't no, I, don't have Jayden, I don't have Jaden Brown in my top twenty, so I don't think Jaden does. I do. Anyway. But I do think Jaden's a top fifty player. Fifteen. No, 50. 50. 5-0. 15, No, not even close. I don't know that's if I can name. That's Wemby. That's Wemby. Fifty players. I don't know if I can name fifty players better than. I'm not sure. That's Wemby sport right there. Top fifteen. I can the name one. Two, you said fifty players better than him. I can name one. Two, I can name one to ten. Okay. <laughs> the one said Luca 32 points per game in the playoffs to Harden 22 points per game. Stop it. Using larger. Harden's career average Definitely when he was coming good. off the bench in OKC is hilarious. But I get when you go and push the agenda, push the agenda, man. Ignore that. Super what's what's, what's Luca's from... career average in the playoffs versus Kobe's? Hmm. Interesting. Super chat from the flame. He said, "Now Damo biting your style too, Mars." Facts. He copied me with a hoodie, mm. man. I'm sorry, the air is on in my house. What the hell? <laughs> no, no, no. You go. I'm not gonna lie. From now on, people go like message me beforehand with, for permission to wear hoodies, man. All right, so yeah. unless it's unless it's a PC hoodie, unless the it's a PC hoodie, the, 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 the air going to die, air going in here, and I don't got a hoodie on. I already, I already took off my damn my, my wife beater that one episode. Where I, I think he's about to have me keep changing clothes. Y'all will, hey, hey, double more said you got to check they, in. They, they bullied me out wearing my coat. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm going to you know, you right, right, need that off. I'm going to check in nowhere. I don't check in nowhere. Right, nowhere. Damo, you got you are more you got you got cats checking in on the panel. I see you. Well, I ain't checking in. I ain't never checked in a day in my life. Like, yo, hey Damo, before you do that, yo, pick the phone up, man. Don't do that. Exactly. Like, come on, man. How hard is it? 
can't just ask. Like, no. like, I'm sure I'll say yes, but like you can't on. just pick the oh, Dom. You can't just be showing up like on, on top of that. Up. On top of that, Dom, I didn't even want you to take off the the tank top. We was we was supposed to go in there like uh like the Bass Bros. Y'all y'all seen uh Mighty Ducks? We was supposed to just come in matching and that's not how you set it up. That's not how you set it up. That's not how you set it up. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now we rewriting history. All right, y'all. We got a uh, we got three more super chats. I'm just gonna speed through, speed read through them. Uh, Prince Solitude said, "Chill, your memory is insane, brother." Thanks. James Jackson said, "Chill, top three basketball shoes you played in." Ninety one Jordans, uh, eighty eight Jordans, um, and let's see. I'm thinking about the joints that Ray Allen wore in, in uh, no, the Webs, C Webs. Mm. All right. Uh, Reginald sent through a super chat and said, can someone else do the super chats? Ron L. Host. Get on your job, Ron. Get on your job. Get on your job, Ron. You see what the people talking about? Get on your job, Ron. We got two new members, so let me go ahead and shout them out. Before we get up out of here, Baba Yuzafa, Yuzafa became a new member. Shout out to Baba. Uh, also, Random Vibe became a member today, too. Shout out everybody that became a member. Shout out everybody that subscribed this episode. Also, like the video on your way out. We'll be back Monday to recap the weekend. Y'all take it easy. Be easy. Right. Eat it, haters. Eat it. <laughs> so the best, the best was the hooping was probably those Adidas Pro models, though. Trip 